for you from us. That'll be $15.95, please. They're in the office. You can buy, I mean, we can have Sarah. There's so much food the there. Place. Why do you need to Sarah? Call Sarah. Hey, that. welcome to Off Topic, episode number 156, the super duper Eric Bedore approved Thanksgiving episode. Oh. I don't know why he took, well, he backgrounded some of the stuff. We had the thing yeah. on the table last yeah. week for the pre Thanksgiving episode. Well, because Thanksgiving's over. Thanksgiving so fall was yesterday, and he, th- he thinks I mean, he left you know, a week, like, a week before Thanksgiving is closer to Thanksgiving than a day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. So he was outraged. It is. Yeah, but it's it's close enough. The though, same right? price is right. All right. It's like, not close without going. If over. you've got it's the day after, like a Christmas episode on the nineteenth or the twenty sixth. The twenty sixth is yeah. the Christmas episode. Well, well no. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Dan? Yeah. No. It's, no, because because everyone's no, like I said, it's still Christmas spirit. It's still the Christmas. No, no, no. Christmas. It's, it's a day. It's always no, before. You, everyone's always hungover. Before. It's great. Yeah, it would be before. Is no, everything it's, before? It's too much. It's too far. It's too far. Well, that's ridiculous. You got like, the when the events over, taking that's shit it. down. That's not it though. Presents already open. Who the fuck takes their Christmas shit down the twenty sixth? Nobody. No, but that's because they can't be bothered because they're all like hungover and stuff and like just. There's right, a well, food, they could, the slow pan well, of the. They couldn't be bothered food. to get fucking food last week. That's my question. If last sauce. week was the Thanksgiving episode, why didn't we get food last week? You didn't tell me you wanted food last week. You don't have to tell people you want food on Thanksgiving, Eric. It's assumed. Yeah. Be okay, thankful right. for Christ's sake. <laughs> hey, this episode, I'm your host, Michael. Joining us, we've got Dan the Man, Alfredo, Jeremy, and Gavin. Hi, the, Michael. The Slow Mo's Bros. Yeah. Hi. Hey, and those slow We're sponsored by Blue Apron, Me Undies, and Stitch Fix. Hey! What are you drinking? Some Dr. Pep Cola. Water, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. I know you were going to attach to that. So I'm drinking. Decision I made before I found out we have food. Is that yeah. an American thing or is that just? Nope, that's okay. a fuck up thing. Right. What is what? Chocolate, chocolate milk, milk and turkey. Turkey. Just drinking chocolate milk. Yeah, swizzle them around in your mouth and see what it's like. Just oh, like I was just up. gonna peel it off. Maybe Honestly yeah. though, I bet it's Give better. It a dip. Oh, why are you yeah. dipping it? A little dip in the chocolate milk. Just a dabble, do you? Oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, that turkey's looking pretty soggy. There you go. Oh. Oh. What you should do oh, is get, it doesn't even Alfredo. absorb it. <coughs> get the fork, put the, <laughs> oh. oh, no, no, get the fork and you lose it. mashed potato in there, yeah. get some mashed potato in there. <coughs> what, are you gonna, wow. what are you going to, so oh, what are you going to dip a piece early. of bread in there? You going to dip some bread in that chocolate? Ooh, look at that. Do the chocolate bread. Gavin. Gavin's turned into Robert De Niro. Oh my god, Alfredo. That, that looks especially Damn bad because of the chocolate. Oh my god. I love it. That was so quick to it's gag. So was... early. <laughs> and the podcast over for Gavin already. Yeah, I know, right? See, we went with his mouth open, too. Oh. <laughs> oh. Drink an emergency. It's, it's not... <laughs> the first thing I went for was the pumpkin pie. Yeah, you did. And I overheard you saying you never had it before. I've never had pumpkin pie. I doubt pie. it's bad. It's not bad Hang on, Dan's sorry, never sorry. had pumpkin pie until just now. Wait, what? That was your first experience with pumpkin pie? I'm well, I, didn't, I, wasn't sure, I wasn't sure if it was, like, sweet or t- savory. To, to me, pumpkin is so, edible. Exactly. Well, it is if you have, like, soup or something. But pie? It was. I, I was like, oh, I guess this is savory because it's pumpkin. <laughs> Cracked it open, you know, sweet as pumpkin pie. And uh, it was disgusting. It was like cinnamon in a pie. I didn't understand it. Well, I feel like they fucked that up. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin pie is great. Like cinnamon. It's like, and also, it is it's sweet. Not, it's pumpkin just pie not is definitely thing. sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had pumpkin pie before? Pumpkin pie is good as hideous. fuck. Do they just add sugar to it to make it sweet? I don't really know what it is. Or is it pumpkin really sweet? I assume there's no pumpkin involved oh at all in it, but it's delicious. You're it's, right. the, it's my favorite make pie. It? Okay. I'm going to go. <laughs> that was the first thing I'd eaten today, so I'm going to go for some actual proper food. Okay, yeah. I mean, I mean. They didn't like last year. We had Boston Market, and they, they didn't really go all out. We asked year. for Boston Market. We were like, "Hey, you should get some Boston Market." And they went, "All right." And then they went to, <laughs> they went to I think Dude, I said we should Boston get Boston Market. Wouldn't give me the stuff that, at all. They said mean? they said no way. They said it's for. They're like, we know no who way. you are. <laughs> Is that what they said? They said no way. They yeah, went, what are you talking about? Yeah. By the time this comes out, Thanksgiving will be over. That's what yeah. That's, that's, what I was <laughs> that's what they said. And Eric was like, "I know." Are we allowed to mention? Oh Boston God's Market? sake! Yeah, we just can't see it. Come yeah. On. Don't show that logo anymore. Oh, that that is fucking funny. That's, that's wild. Crazy. He didn't even like, see that. Um, no, I did. I, I put my drink up <laughs> so I couldn't see it. Jeez. Yeah, yeah that was like, vile. Can you? Fred, why don't you take a bite of that? 
Nah, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, great. Now I'm like, don't like, don't like, don't, don't. You don't know whose drink oh. it was. You don't know who's. Oh, oh, look at that. Hear that? You don't know who. Hear that? Ooh, let me just, let me just get in there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. It slides down my throat. Michael! Mm. Stop! Mm. Tastes like the holiday season. <laughs> Probably don't. I think he got Alfredo a little mm. bit. Mm. He's still munching! <laughs> He's yeah, gone. You, you got hit hard. He, he knows. You got hit he hard. Knows, he knows. Just keep making eating noises and I'll think you're still eating it. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's gone. Oh, the color of the water. He is, ate the whole thing. The color of the water is more disgusting <laughs> to me than the, the actual. Of bread it's, water. It's, bre it's bread and water. Bread water. <laughs> Bread and water. Bread know. water. Holy fuck. The bread water is Smell arguably that. more disgusting to me than the Smell than the. That. You know what that bread. looks like? That looks like something you make a delicious hot dog in. It looks like hot dog water. Yeah. The disgusting soupy <laughs> hot dog water. <laughs> yeah, I made I made kielbasa the other day. Yeah, I made the like Omaha that. steak thing and boiled it in the water. It looked just like that. The water at the end of it. Ugh. Except that's good, just bread. Is a good kielbasa. Oh, dude, it was phenomenal. It was so good. I just hope that it's not that. That's not what made me almost shit coming back? Today. Oh, there you are. Well, it's still there. <laughs> oh, but there's no bread in oh, it. It's, it's just steady. bread bits. You want me to drink it? Yeah, drink it. Thank you. Stop. <laughs> oh, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> People are dropping like flies. <laughs> it's just food the and water. Right behind you. Don't no, throw it, up did on you the smell floor. it? It's actually no, disgusting. I'm sure it's disgusting. Like, it's I'm good. gross. Okay, is this a bit I admit, it is, it is kind of disgusting. Michael. It's bread. What? <laughs> Michael, it's I- It's all gone, Gavin. You have this ability to like, shut your brain down. It doesn't bother me. With like eating stuff well, and with vomiting well, especially it Especially stuff up. that can... looks gross. Yeah. Like that, the taste there, nothing. It was bread and water. Like that means, <laughs> that means nothing to me. Like if it was actually gross to eat, maybe. But like the look of something doesn't bother me at all. Like, I'm eating all the time while I'm watching stuff. Like, even the content we make, where Gavin's always like, don't watch this while you're eating. It's like, I don't give a fuck. I could watch anything while I'm eating. I don't know if I could, no. Well, I am, I, if it is, there is a visual aspect to me, where I'm just like, eh. So, when Gav, like, dares you to eat, like, a packet of mustard, when he first met you, you were just like, yeah, sweet. Yeah, but I like even, Most people, it would be like, absolutely not. But like, you were like, ah, no, no, Yeah, like. even that would be harder than that, right? Like, people don't eat a packet of mustard. People could eat a piece of bread and then drink water. Yeah. And to me, that's just like, ah, I'm just killing time. No, I'm, it I'm is like you're faster. just mixing. You're doing what's going to happen in your Like stomach. drinking the bottle of barbecue sauce was way harder than that because you don't but drink barbecue sauce. What you've got to remember is you told me yesterday that you ate a pound and a half of cheese voluntarily. Like well, it was two days apart. I ate one pound in one sitting and then two days later <laughs> I ate the other half. Was it Mike was explaining the just just cheese. Cheese. eating a load of cheese and then not having more <laughs> if you want to eat more. So he bought a pound cheese. and then had a half pound and was like, oh, I wouldn't want to have... No more cheese left, so I bought a whole pound just in case I wanted to finish it up. Uh, yeah, that's just so yeah, wrong. Yeah, was it just the cheese? You just like I literally just had a plate and then the pound of cheese on top of it, and I was just like, <laughs> yeah, but that's it. not I a meal. I can't believe that. it wasn't a meal; it was a snack. It was after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't replace a meal. That was after dinner. I would love security camera footage of inside your stomach as just. Yep. Hunks of cheese only. Yeah, but it was fresh mozzarella. Up. I like to point so out that good. it's not just he wants. Camera footage from inside your stomach. He wants security camera footage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, like, on guard. They're on guard. It's a, uh, like in, yeah. the, in the corner of, of my stomach. <laughs> it's got to <laughs> rotate. <laughs> it's got shit, it's a shit frame rate with a time code at the bottom. Yeah. You just Black see the chunk like falling and then it's there. Yeah. <laughs> We've been playing video games, haven't we? And this is funny. Uh, so yesterday, I we because you know we pre-taped last week's podcast yesterday. We're doing two in a row here. Oh god. Um, yesterday I talked about how you peed yourself. And blackout. Because I mentioned, oh, you did? Like, yeah. Because I, I mentioned that I peed myself an extra life. This uh, is crazy. He's like, I peed myself an extra what? life, and I was when like, I got tased in the butt. He got tased in the butt, and, and, and I Gavin peed, I peed himself a little bit. playing blackout for no real reason. <laughs> then today, I coughed. Oh, okay. Then I today, a little bit eked out. Right? Fucking Jeremy comes in. He's like, I'm gonna shit my pants on the way to work today, and I'm like, Gavin almost shit his pants yesterday playing Dude, blackout again. Something about blackout. It's and he was, twice and now. it was like the exact same story. Jeremy's like, I'm going, oh. Oh, he's like, I had to unbuckle my belt. I was like, that's what Gavin was doing. You guys are on like except the same I was, undid my butt like, yeah. shit cycle or something. Except I was in a car in traffic this morning, <laughs> yeah, like having to get to Cat to pick her up from somewhere. And I was like, she's waiting for me. And you were around. laughing last night because I was going, oh, and you were looking at me in the gate. Yeah. And I was, because we're boat boys. Oh, yeah. I was driving the boat. And when you <laughs> drive like, the boat, you're like this. 
And I was just like, oh! <laughs> I just was waiting to go. I turned around and he's like, oh! In the corner of the boat, like crouching, using his back of his heel to shove his poo back in or whatever it was. Prairie dog. You're holding it in your butthole, your heel. Did you prairie dog it a bit? Like a little bit came out and you're like no, sucking it back was in just, there. I was just very worried. Oh. It, was, it was all back in, you know, when a, like a train derails and all the carriages at the back just yeah. get stuff. From but we were near the blue, so we couldn't exactly leave. Yeah. yeah. No, no, you know, no. I even like, said, I'm like, we could like hop in a car and drive into the white and you can go real quick. And he's like, oh, it won't be quick. Oh, I'm going to take a while. <laughs> Mm. It takes, it quick, takes a bit. I've never had a quick poop. Well, that's what I said. I'm like, well, if you're about to shit your pants, how is it not going to be quick? And he goes, he's like, oh, round two. I got to wait for round two. He takes so like 20 in the bathroom. I don't I'm do round there. twos. I remember you talking about. No, there. The thing is, round less. twos don't just come. <laughs> you do have to wait for them. It exists. And it is satisfying. I gotta wait on that toilet, wait. though. The only time I wait is if I'm like on my phone or I have like a handheld or something. I'm like, I might as well wait for round two. You feel just so. Empty and a good yeah, way. it really and is light. good. It's like your anus has ascended to the next level. And the thing is, if you wipe and put it all away after round one, you're gonna have a round two later and wipe again. It's like I'd rather yeah. just be less friction on my anus mm -hmm. overall. Mm -hmm. I'll take the friction. I feel like <laughs> I just I don't I don't like sitting on top of a full toilet. Flush it. Flush it. Cool. I mean, but then, Flush then, 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 then I'm just that is a weird Gavin like comment. Like, you have to leave the poop in. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's like, like a mountain. Like I have to flush it all at once. <laughs> Even still, then you flushing and just sitting there like with your pants down, just on a toilet waiting. Yeah. Mm. I love how it's fifteen time. minutes in. We're already talking about poop. <laughs> It's off Immediately. Topic. That's usually sooner than that. That's that was day. after the vomiting. That's good. That's <laughs> like a good the point. Gagging in the bread. Yeah, fair play. There's, I, more, there's so much more bread left. I was <laughs> chunked. Oh. Alfredo actually, I think, almost passed you to it. He let out a wretch. Right. Yeah, I think uh, I, I think I, I realized right there that bread being wet, fine. Someone eating that wet bread. Well, yeah, it's way worse. Didn't you dip it you in your drink? It, it was a chocolate milk. Also, Michael drink. has his, like, like sucking smile yeah. when he does it, right? <laughs> you dip, like, cookies and everything like, in your chocolate milk. Yeah, but that's not bread. Uh, cookies aren't as absorbent. I don't know. I used to, maybe just a no, yeah, you don't Filipino get, like, thing, but I used to dip, like, uh, like, toast with butter. And, like In what? Chocolate. In chocolate? Yeah, like hot chocolate. chocolate. Like hot chocolate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Weird. That I don't know. I just can't if something is, if you can hang something on its own weight, and then you put it in liquid, and then it no longer hangs uh, on its own weight. I'm bad. I'm terrible with it. Oh no! Like a Weetabix. <laughs> I gotta eat those really fast. So what if you what if you like dip a biscuit in tea or something, and then like the bottom falls out, and it all goes to the bottom of the? Oh, I can't. You can't. So no, like when you're drinking the tea, and then you get the like dregs of biscuit. At the bottom. You gotta have a serious biscuit. I mean, like, you gotta have practice. a hobnob, as Peter K once said. You gotta have a hobnob. Yeah, because they don't come apart. Mm. Sorry, I went a bit British then. It was, it was it okay. Was, oh, it, was, it was even funnier that you're further apart, so like it was happening across... Spider-Man uh, versus the Hobnobman. Yeah. I was just um, in London and I was not that lost. Biscuit. I was no. lost here. <laughs> oh, really? So it's more similar here uh, in London than it is in... No, I just, you guys really went with it. I just, you know, I didn't experience we that when I was in London. Well, it's like forcing British across from there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. How was London? Uh, chilly, packed, but beautiful. And we went to, what was it, Hawkmore? Hawksmore, the, the steakhouse. Hawksmore Steakhouse. Delicious. Yeah, pretty, pretty pricey, good. but you know. It, it was, but it was good. You've been there before, London? Uh, yes, during RTX London this year. Mm. That was the first time. Oh, I cool. came right back right away. Mm. Yeah. Not bad. I heard it was yeah, a very was busy trip. Lot, it was, yeah, no, we, we, <clears throat> we flew on Sunday, landed in Paris Monday, shot all day, ate dinner, slept, woke up, took the train at like 8 a.m. to London, Shot all day, dinner, slept, woke up, played. I've never even been on the Eurotunnel or been to Paris, so you've done more than me. Uh, it was, it was, it was, it was interesting. It. Yeah, it's down the road. <laughs> never been. <laughs> Paris is very close. Yeah, it's from London. I was never just, been like, there. I was just watching Matt the whole time. He was a specimen. I, he is when you he travel. Was yeah. You keep calling him a specimen. Is he that was. Like, yeah. It was a very specimen. I'm just imagining like a streak of. Well, it depends. Yeah, that's if you weird. say he's an absolute he's, specimen, oh, it means says. like he's like beautiful. But then if you say he, he is, he didn't mean it like that. If you say he is specimen, well, yeah, also not a Matt Brag thing, thing. But the way you're describing it, like I watch him like a specimen. I just I'm thinking of a bug. Well, like, <laughs> no, it is like he's watching <laughs> him like a zoo animal. You know what I mean? It's like what Alfredo was saying. <laughs> Jeff and I were just saying. watching Matt experience the world. It's well, funny. He ate, he ate travel mat is awesome. <laughs> One squid at a time. squid? Yeah. Did he like it? Well, he, he, he had calamari. It, he had fried it calamari. fried. Oh. oh. He had it fried. <laughs> <laughs> you were like disgusted. Wild. He ate squid. <laughs> uh, wild. <laughs> fried calamari. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go all the way to London, though. My God. So you not oh, traveled really? before, then? Does he not? Do stuff like that. Uh, as far as you told me, not much. No. He's been to London with Jeff. Matt yes. travels, but like Matt 
I feel like he travels in the states. Like, uh, he travels, but like keeps it on, on the mat level, right? I feel like the first thing he'd do is like, all right, where can I get an American cheeseburger? I bet he'd we uh, ate catch multiple Pokemon. cheeseburgers together. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because Matt wanted cheeseburgers. <laughs> or that's something he was comfortable eating. You want any of that, Michael? I cut this one open. What do you think that would taste like, Michael, if you opened all of them, bundled them together, and, and put them in a cup of water? And then just. Um, I imagine it would taste just like. It would, yeah, I don't like know. More it's going to have a very, like it's it's gonna gonna have have a very jerky taste. taste. Yeah. Yeah, have some of that. Like, every one is a different That one's animal. open. Well, maybe get one of each flavor. Oh, is, is, there, is there a wombat? Mild. Why? Well, it's mild it's alligator. Mild alligator. alligator. Back then. It's alligator mild. Holy cow. There's also cage and alligator. Dude, oh, what is that, Velociraptor? Yeah, uh, yeah no, it's it's Velociraptor, yeah. That's kangaroo. That's kangaroo. Modern day Velociraptors are those kangaroos. Take a bite of each. That's one big bite. What do you think of me? Or... Hello. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I want to play more Fallout, Michael. We just haven't done it yet. It's been enough time, man. Is I want, it a good I wanna, game? I play I've it. been enjoying uh, it. Alfredo hates it, but I... I, I want to play with people. It's got a lot of issues. I want to play a lot of games. I just can't stop playing Red Dead. I'm just... Keep playing. Yeah, I want to play I've Hitman. I've only been playing Red Dead and Blackout. We, we stopped playing Assassin's Creed because... Red Dead came out. Like, we were like halfway through the game, we were like, oh, we've got to play Red Dead now. I, I and now was, I'm I was, never going like, to play Assassin's Creed. I was turning off again. Assassin's yeah. Creed. I was like, I'm really enjoying this game. It's yeah. tragic that I'm never going to play it again. Yeah, yeah. I'm never, yeah. I'm never yeah. going to play it. <laughs> it's it's really good. Well, actually, I was like level 17 and I did an absolute session and I got up to level 21. And then my game like corrupted the save. <sighs> and it took me back. I started the game up and it went back to level 17. And I was like, never playing again. That's it. You had a I'm similar done. thing with Red Dead. That's, what, that's, that's me and Red Dead. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The game, the game crashed and I lost like three, three and a half hours of story. Was it auto save not on? I, I guess not. It just didn't save. I feel like the game saves after every single thing you do. Well, it That's did, what it, I, I it thought did it did too. It did with Assassin's Creed, but it just corrupted it. Oh, yeah, yeah like, I, I think I think it must have been the same thing with me. Yeah, probably. I would not go back. God, the second you touch Red Dead, I turn the game on. You like walk. It's like, hey, you're gonna overwrite your auto save. I'm like, yeah, fine. It reminds me of back in the day when you play Skyrim and the game crashes and you're like, no, that's like three hours work. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, that's exactly like, what happened when I loaded it up. I was like. Oh, how far back am I? I watched like my previous stream to see how far back it was. A game oh, has to be absolutely hours. insane to bother redoing the last three hours. It has to be so good. I don't I, think I had that. Oh, there's yeah. not many games. And to me, uh, Red Dead game was game not that. that. It was yeah. too. There was too much like because it was also one of the missions where it was like a real slow like follow the boat up the river on horseback. And then, I, and then I fucked that up. I tried to do it again. I tried to do it again. Like follow the boat all the way. Got to like this whole section. And he's like, okay. We're gonna stealthily take these two guys out. Like, I'll distract him and do the thing. And I'd already played the level and I knew that it got loud, like, right after you kill those guys. It then, always does. Then it's like, I'm, you go, and so I'm like, I'm just gonna bip these guys, because then, assuming he'll be like, God damn it, Arthur, all right, let's get in there. And then you just, like, do the shooty part. I shot them and they're like, nah, mission failed. And I'm like, all right, load from last checkpoint. And that was, like, the beginning of the mission, like, before uh, the boat thing. And I just went, no, nope, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I just turned it off. Jesus. I just have, so I haven't picked That's it up. That's the only thing, like, every, I'm only in chapter three, but every mission I've encountered, we're like, we're going to do this quiet. It's like, yeah, and kill two guys. And then 150 <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah. It's not a stealth game. Point. There's even parts where, like, you go, you do a mission with, like, you know, there's always other gang members and shit with you. And they're like, all right, take out that guy. I'm like, all right, I'll use my fucking throwing knife. Throwing knife right in the neck, killed him, and then they're like, "Let's go!" <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? With, uh, it's the same with GTA, GTA Five. I remember replaying it again on Xbox One because of first person, and you do that mission very early in the game where, as uh, Franklin, you steal Michael's car, yeah, and there's like a gardener blowing some leaves, and it's like, "Oh, you, you go into stealth mode." It like tutorials you on how to do a stealth kill. It's like stealth takedown. And I did it. I was like, I don't remember doing that ever again. It was like that one mission. And it's just not a stealth game. There's almost no point in having any right. stealth. And but they're just like, you can do it. You can do it if you, you want. You can do it. You can, you get can that, kill one you person. Can get that first or just call yeah. on a tank. <laughs> yeah. And destroy everything. God, I've been watching it because I play next to Dan. We're just playing side by side at home, both playing Red Dead. It's cute. And uh, I've been watching Dan struggle with the buttons like you wouldn't oh, believe. Because God. every button is so context sensitive to where you're looking, like where you're near. Yeah, Has he you, punched a horse? The no, worst. He's, I watched him. He's at the police station. I've just come out of like doing a bounty mission. Yeah, so he's like, oh yeah, see, so like hand in that. He just walks out of the police station. His horse is right there. He presses Y to get on the horse. Immediately, the camera goes like, and he starts choking. The <laughs> <laughs> like, she's like, oh, 
fat and he's like, oh no! <laughs> so he presses B to like try and cancel it, but when you're choking someone, B is beat. So he's like, oh no! <laughs> and he just punches her in the face. Oh, it's like the complete opposite. Of so they like, have to get out of it. Literally, like all the policemen in the police station, there's like 20 police on me. I'm like, no, crap, in the middle of San Denis, and I'm just like getting into a gunfight. Oh, I can push who should I button? send the link to? Because I've got a link to that. I clip. love the idea that that's like something mm. not at all. Like, so I sent to Dennis. Dennis? <laughs> Who's that? Uh, it's Ooh. something not at all like you can get away with in real life. Like, yeah. I, I accidentally was choking her and then I punched her in the face. I didn't mean it. <laughs> right. Also, <laughs> that would never happen in also, real life. Also, later on, I was like, I met like one of those like random encounters you get where, you know, where someone's like, oh, I need to get my horse back. Yeah, usually some fucker trying to steal your shit. Exactly. So I went along, got this guy's horse back, but I lassoed the horse because it's easier. <laughs> took it back to him, but then he was like, oh, thanks very much. But because I had his horse in the lasso, he was like, oh, cheers. Because he wasn't thanks. leading it, he had it, like, tied by oh, the neck. Okay. Yeah, so but there was like, no cheering. dialogue for, like, screws. was like, thanks a lot, really <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was just like, oh, no. <laughs> Even in Assassin's Creed, it happens. Like, you know you get missions from people that are sat oh, next to each other. That. Right, there's, like, these two blokes, these two soldiers who are sat there. And it's like, go speak to this guy. I went to speak to him. And speak is the same button as stab in the neck. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, yeah. so I was like, I tried to get a mission off him, and I was like, I had to like move the controller very slightly. But, oh, oh, is that speak? Oh, ah, speak. <laughs> Straight away, just stabbed him in the neck. <laughs> I think you stabbed his friend in the neck. Oh yeah, his friend had his right. back to you, but you were talking to him, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just got stabbed him in the neck. The worst. I love yeah, that. that was that was brutal because I think it was the Y button. It was, was both. <laughs> that happened to me so goddamn much in that game. I played all of that game though to like absolute completion. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Even down to like uh, Splinter Cell when when help your friend oh, was the same as turn on and off the light button. Yeah. And it was so, <laughs> so, you're like your friend's bleeding out. Like, so you're just like. Off, on. It, I think it's like off, turn on. off the light, open door, and also jump and hold a pipe. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, he's coming out of the coming out of police station. Yeah, it's all gone well. It's all gone pretty well. <laughs> Just, oh, uh, better better get on the old horse out here. Uh, right. Yep, there's the horse. Yep. <laughs> 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 And re her. in real life, you just sat, sat like this. No, oh, no! <laughs> no, stop! <laughs> that's fucking funny. That's so great. <laughs> well, it's, that's enough. so many good clips from Red Dead. I've done that in yeah. Siege a lot. Because pick up, if, it, like, if you have the bomb, there's a thing of like, when you, like, picking people up, dropping the bomb, and planting the bomb are all the same button. So if someone goes down near the bomb site and you have the bomb, it's like a. A who's who of how to pick this man up because you're like I got you And you like start planting and you go no 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 and you put it away and then you walk out of the site You put the bomb on the floor and then you're like trying to get him, but you have to pick the bomb up again. It's all fucking fiasco <laughs> But I love that shit it makes it way better Emergency thing. It is together. convenient how easy it is to like record shit now. Yeah, like, like with Xbox You know, you've just got like the, the, the flash recording like, I mean, you go up to like five minutes on that, right? You can get like the last five minutes. You're not in 4K. 4K is limited to I think 30 seconds. Oh, is, is it really? I think you can get two minutes normally. It used to be five. It, really it used to be five. 32 and five or 33 and five, but maybe they, maybe they shortened it. I don't know. Mm. And then I play everything like through almost everything through like Elgato, just because that's like the way I have it mirrored on my computer. So I can like play all my games on my computer. So it's like, as a bonus, I'm like, oh, that was amazing. I'm so record that. <laughs> I, I actually forgot to record it. There was this moment, there was this fucking, fucking great moment when we were playing Blackout the other day. Uh, where <laughs> Gavin was up on top of the dam, and he had an ATV. And he was, and he was the last one left. Like, I think, I think Dan and I were dead. We died, like, early on in the round. So it was just you left on the team. And uh, he's like, all right, watching this. Here we go. And he drives, he drives off the dam with the ATV and then tries to like jump off the ATV like mid mid air. He ends up just like driving, getting off, and then just falling to his death. <laughs> yeah. Like he just fell straight down just, and, and then died. Absolute down on that dam. Because nobody was like left alive on the team, so he just died. I nearly killed you doing something similar, didn't I? With the, the truck. Yeah, and I clipped that. I you, did clip that. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I have that. Dan was like, he was trying to drive the truck off the dam, and I was like... In the back? I was gonna jump in the back, 
And for some reason, Dan thought to straighten it out like twelve times. No, he's just like I was just eh, trying eh, to get eh, a run up. Eh, 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 eh. And then he and then he went for the final run up and went so far back he drove <laughs> backwards off the dam and the truck flipped upside down on top of us and pushed us to like the bottom <laughs> of the water. So from at one hundred fifty health, you know, we start drowning. You take twenty five health of damage. I swam all the way up and I got up at twenty five health and he drowned. I'm like, well, that was amazing, Dan. <laughs> Is that he just your- fucking killed us. Is that uploaded in your files? <laughs> do you think? No, I didn't upload it. Oh. Because you, because yours is on auto upload. So yeah, I can always find your. <laughs> yeah. right. It was like it was spectacular. Oh bloody! I I fully pimped out my horse. You know when you get like the bonding thing. Yeah. The fully bonded it, and it gives you like <laughs> extra. I <laughs> can't find that clip. You can't find. You got. You gotta find it. Right, we'll just talk about, about something else while he finds this, and I'll, I'll walk you through it at the time. <laughs> I'll walk you through it. But no, seriously, it's like ridiculous. I would love for us many... to do a show where we just talk about our game clips. How many like, horses yeah, have you gone through? Anybody? Like you, anybody has stolen their first horse? I I was horse. when I. <laughs> when I finished, I was going burnt to, marshmallow was his name. I went to go and kill a <laughs> bloody beaver for one of those satchel things. Yeah, yeah which beaver was beaver sucks. Absolute man. mission. And then when I was there, I found Beavers? this like yeah, they suck. get a perfect beaver. Suck. It was just a pain in the fuck. Because they, they like to go in the water and then they sink if you shoot them. Yeah, yeah it took me forever oh. to find one, and then it oh. sunk to the bottom, and I was pissed off. So you, like this is one area where I knew there was beavers. So you come up to the edge of a cliff, and because they sort of load as such when you get into that area, mm-hmm. there's you, there's often a beaver at this one point right at the edge of the water and it's like a perfect beaver and you're quite far away and you've got you've got to kill it with a varmint rifle and you're like you run up to the thing you're like quick and it immediately gets in the water so you've got about three seconds to get a headshot from miles away before it like gets too deep the amount of times it's got too deep and you shoot it and you just it can't sinks, get it yeah. it just sinks that's it so it's a bitch to get oh so you yeah. can't what you can't dive no you can't go underwater you can't oh, lure God. the beaver out with like wood well, no. it just it just swim. They all just no. bugger off into the middle of the water. See, with wood. Come eat yeah, this. I mean, with wood. <laughs> I mean, you might be able to lure them with because I know they have like like herbivore, uh, bait. like bait. M- maybe, but I don't know if that would work with a beaver. I I never thought to use it. Like, no. like, what do beavers eat? But yeah, n- near there, there's like a like an amazing fish? horse. I just happened to see it. I don't, I don't know. Maybe fish. I'd say fish probably. Right? No, I don't know. I don't know what a beaver eats. That's I've never a- talked. I've never asked a beaver. Yeah. I really should. Hey, Beaver! Hey, Beaver! Hey, what, Beaver, what do you eat? What you munching on? That was the last fucking... Basically, the last pelt I needed for that for that last satchel. But goddamn, that satchel's a game changer. When you it's it. so good. It's it's worth it. It's worth taking a break from the whole game just to finish off the satchels. Yeah. You never need Crazy. to worry about... Crazy! Like, like, I did it as early as possible. Because yeah. you have it for, like, the length of the game. And yeah. It's like, you go from being able to hold, like, five to ten things of certain items to 99. Yeah. But getting a cougar, a wolf, and a beaver is difficult. Those I, three I got ones. lucky. Like I had a wolf early on, and perfect I did, wolf. and I yeah, yeah. For, like first wolf, like I had the perfect wolf pelt, and had turned it in before I even started doing the satchels. Well, so like, you used the poison arrow to kill the wolf, <clears throat> and you immediately got a perfect one. No, I didn't use poison. You're supposed to, aren't you? I thought you had to. I don't think so, I probably just shot it in the head Idiot. or something. <laughs> no, I'll say, I'll say the, the improved arrow is fucking everything. great for the bigger shit. Like, a, like one improved arrow to the head kills the cougar. Just like yeah. one shot kills it. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I got killed a, a couple of times by the cougars, though. Just because it's like, oh shit, there. And then he's eating. Yeah. yeah. Like, that happens <laughs> yeah. so fucking fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if I found it. Can you dead eye the, you can dead eye them with the arrow? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's just a matter of like, oh shit. It's like jumping on you. Yeah. It's just too late. There's, there's, they're fucking sneaky. The game lets them play stealth. I remember cougars yeah. being a pain yeah, in the yeah. ass in GTA, <laughs> yeah. so I can imagine they're still a pain in the ass in Red Dead. Yeah, independent. <laughs> I always forget that an- animals in GTA. Yeah, yeah it's not so, online. So much yeah. Yeah, it's been so long. But yeah, the cougars used to rip you apart just yeah. randomly in the mountains. Like one go. They would like grab your arm and yank you down, and then you just like oh, go up and die. So I've literally just got to my horse bonding level was like maximum, right? It actually says in the top left like what yeah. to do now. So I'm like new skill, cool. Because the previous skill you do like a handbrake turn almost with the horse. Yeah. <clears throat> and I thought this was something similar, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. Give that a try on this corner. Here we go. Yeah, the right buttons. Cool. Happy days. Oh! No. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> waterfall! Jesus <laughs> Christ! And because because you can't revive your horse like that, that yeah. was it. I just got fully bonded with the horse, <laughs> and then it was like, boom. It gone. was just such a perfect scenario. You've finally maxed out your horse. Yeah. It's telling you an instruction, and that instruction killed the horse. Yeah, it was just like ah, fully bonded. Oh, immediately dead. Both of them. That's awesome. So you never, you can't get that horse back. You can't get it back. That's gone. (laughs) Forever. That's it. And it takes quite a long time to fully level a horse. It takes ages, yeah. I've still got my first horse. Same, same, yeah. Really? Yeah. 
Grimshaw. I find it annoying because if you have two horses and you whistle, <laughs> sometimes randomly both horses will come and then you just oh, like. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like, you've got like your one you actually want and the other one's like, please. Like, uh, <laughs> Dan has just such different problems in the game than I do. Like, that's never happened <laughs> that's... to me. Dan's always like, yeah, get the horse. And then, like, another horse like gets in the way. He's like, get the other horse. What's yeah. happening? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, get rid of it. Uh, oh. Fergana I... really wants you to bond with your horse. Like, the first. Like, six out of the first ten missions give you a different horse. Yeah, they give you, uh, that's pissing me off. Like, yeah. As soon as the game unlocks, because I, like you said, you get more shit, and your horse's, like, stats increase when they level up. Yeah. Like, they get a little, like, a little, you can, like, they have longer stamina, you can run, like, for longer and shit like that. So I wanted to, like, use my horse as much as possible, assuming it wouldn't be, like, quick, but, you know, I'm going to use this horse the whole game. And then the first, like, four missions, it's like, take this carriage, take this guy's horse, take that guy's horse. And yeah. I was like, fucking stop! It's like, here's <laughs> a big giant horse, go sell this horse and buy a new horse. Hey, someone in town just stole your something, grab this random horse and take it to go catch that guy. Now when you whistle, this random fucking horse shows up, not Burnt Marshmallow, who you left back at camp. I hate that shit. Burnt Marshmallow. <laughs> Burnt Marshmallow is great, and then every time you did something cool, I had a shot of Marshmallow vodka in honor uh... of him. <laughs> this is fucking crazy, Burnt, too. Burnt Marshall. I don't know if this was like a, uh... Like a thing in my brain that I didn't know about and I didn't realize I did it. I don't think so. I think it's pure coincidence. And if anything, it leads to why I did it. Like, I'm like, look, I was right. But I told you I named my horse Grimshaw, right? And you're like, Grimshaw? Why? I'm like, ah, oh, this is like a westerny name, like Grimshaw. <laughs> like, like, it was like a motor thing where it was like, it was like, name your horse. I'm like, Grimshaw. Like the second the thing popped out, I didn't even know you could name your horse. And I was like, I'm gonna name it Grimshaw. So I told you that. Then like a week later, maybe two weeks later, I'm playing the game. I'm in fucking camp and I hear rah, 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 Grimshaw. And I was like, what the, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, I'm like, what? I'm like, they, they can't be talking about my horse. I'm like, is someone named Grimshaw? And then I just like, I figured the fast way. I just Googled like Red Dead 2 Grimshaw. The woman in charge of the camp's last name is Grimshaw. Do you think you subliminally I don't know. solved it? <laughs> Either I did or I nailed that Western name. Yeah. I don't know. Because they never Grimshaw. call her that. They call her like maybe Susan or some shit. I don't remember what her name is. But Miss had, Grimshaw. had no fucking idea that I wasn't like, I'll name it after her. I was like, oh, well. I thought about changing it to Grimshaw too, but I was like, <laughs> I'll just leave it. I like the fact that Grimshaw someone had a horse too. named Grimshaw too because the woman you <laughs> yeah, know is Grimshaw. Huh? Or I was going to Grimshaw Jr. I didn't change it. Yeah, uh, I was like, find a way to separate the two. <laughs> That'd be so insulting, I feel like. Yeah. If I ever got a horse and named it Cat too, she wouldn't be happy yeah. with me. Well, I mean, it'd be <laughs> less insulting than Jack. <laughs> this is my horse. Yeah, cat it'd be less too. insulting if you were like, all right, the horse is cat, you're cat too now. That would be more insulting. That would be more insulting. But it would get confusing if they're both called cat. You'd be like, oh, which one do you mean? Yeah. You know, the horse or the person? Neither one is a cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would, add, that would just add to it. <laughs> it's a fun game. I just, I'll be playing it forever. Yeah. Because I don't have any time. I play like in... What you got there, Dan? I have to play like an, uh, an hour. There's been so many times I'm like, I got 30 minutes. Uh, and it's not worth venison. it. Nice. I won't load it up. I'm like, I could go buy something. From a yeah. store. I mean, like, I was I was playing the other night, and I stumbled onto, uh, I just stumbled onto where there was a legendary fish, right? It was it was when I went fishing with uh, Kyrian at camp. He's like, hey, want to go fishing? I'm like, okay, cool. So I go fishing with him, and then while we're fishing, he's like, oh, there's a legendary fish here, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, let me try and catch that fish. So I'm trying to catch the fish, and I'm not getting it, I'm not getting it. And then after, like, a couple minutes, he's like, I don't think we can get it. I think we need another lore. And I was like... God damn it. You need right. like specific lures for them, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm like. You should have said that straight away. You're wasting your time. Yeah, I was it's fishing for minutes say. until he's like, I guess we can't catch it. So I'm like, all right, let me look this up real quick. Where are the lures? And they're like, I was like, I'll do this. Maybe I'll catch the fish. I'll go to bed. It's like late at night. Oh so I go all the way to the fucking place where they sell the lures, get all the way there. And it's like, you need, there's three special lures. It's like special whatever, special whatever, special whatever. I get there and they're like, and they're like, they're $15 each. I get there, they don't have special lures. They just have the regular lures and they're $2. I'm like, what the fuck? Look it up further. Oh, you got to start the legendary fishing quest by talking to this guy before they sell the lore. So I was like, motherfucker. So then I'm like, all right, I'll go to that guy. So then I go all the way oh, to that guy. Yeah. Start the fucking thing. That's a whole fucking thing. Then I got to go all the way back, then buy the fucking lures, then come all the way back to where the legendary fish was, which was at camp anyway. And by the time I got to camp, it was like fucking two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, well, I'm going to bed. It was like an extra hour, if not like hour and 20 minutes to go buy a fucking lure. 
Yeah, everything in that like, game oh, takes a long so time. Far. It does. I plan stuff out, and sometimes like I'll be like, oh, this will this will see me to an hour because if I have to leave, and I'll be like, I guess all I did was like shave and then go and get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, the first time I went to Saint Denis, I was just like, just, I was like, wow, this place is amazing. I ended up for like two hours. I was like, what? I was like watching a show and like walking around, just saying hi to people. And Dan's like in the middle of a firefight. I was like, we're playing like two completely different <laughs> games right now. There's a lot to do that isn't playing the game. I'm sure I'll get back into it. I'm gonna, I'll give it a little bit. Did you just beat it and it. stop? Play someone else? No, I just, I just stopped playing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think he lost, he lost, he lost a couple lost hours. It. Yeah, when I lost all the hours of right. the saves, that's when I stopped. I'll pick it up when it comes out to P on PC eventually. I still haven't turned on Fallout or Hitman. And no, I neither have I. I played one it's level of Hitman. I mean, I only played it for like an hour and a half. It was pretty fun, but it's... It's more fun playing together, but it was also like yes. a lot of work to stay together. And it's also a thing I feel mm. like we weren't second... teamed up. You can team yeah. up right away. Yeah. I teamed up with Kat immediately. Oh, Didn't okay. even need level five. Okay. So what does that actually we talked about it yesterday on the podcast? Um Kat is me. what does that give you? So I I felt like what we weren't do? teamed up because the names turn yellow. And I remember that from the beta. And okay. I was like, I wonder why our names aren't yellow. Oh well, we weren't on a team. Once you're on a team, uh, you can see people from pretty much any distance. Okay. Like, you can always tell which That's direction you are. That's a huge advantage right there. And, um, and it's not shared loot, right? It's not. It's still not shared loot. But in the top corner, it it would say to me, like, Kat's on this mission, just so you know. Like, she, like you might be on this step of the mission. Kat's on this step. So it would, like, let you know. So I'm like, Kat, go do this so that you're ca caught up with me. Why well, I feel like down. vastly different levels. Does that matter? Like, I feel like that's what's 100% going to happen, right? It's yeah, almost like, it's like an MMO. Like, you have to play statically. Like, yeah. okay, I'm going to play this character with you, and that's it. Because otherwise, you're going to play Apparently, by yourself. Apparently, it doesn't like matter too higher. much until you're, like, level against level, like, 15 enemies or so. Apparently, before that, it's pretty much... I mean, that's probably pretty quick, though, right? But what's the goal of the game? What do you, what do, you do? The goal is, like, <laughs> find the find the overseer. <laughs> That's, like, the main mission. Is like, the overseer left the vault first. So you're, like, the first vault that opened. Because uh, okay. it's only, like, 50 years so after or something. it has a story. It has a story. Okay. And it's, like, the, the overseer went out. And then you're going from her camp, like, camp to camp to camp. And finding her logs and, like, learning about what she was doing. And then there's missions along the way. And, like, public events and shit like that. But, um... I mean, the the point of the game, what made it... What makes it fun for some people... Uh, is like ex is the exploring part, like just being like, oh, there's something over here, and like go over and like find out the story of that place and do all the shit there and stuff. Like yeah, that. but I feel like that's not good with more than one person. Like, you want to just do that on your own. It is and it isn't. Yeah, you know? like I yeah. was, I that's definitely what I encountered because like when we were playing, I ended up like doing shit on my own, and it's like I'm not even playing. This well, game. you got you taken down a bizarre cool. other path. Yeah, but even if it was a legitimate reason, you know what I mean? Like at yeah. that point, if I if you're not like keeping up together, immediately it's just like, all right, well I'm yeah. there over there, and I'm I can imagine it becoming a mess of missions of people on different. Yeah, quests. because it is a game where you just want to explore, you want to do yeah. what you want to do. You know, like we go in a building, we did a mission, then you left the building, and and even. When I wasn't fucking around, I remember Ryan being like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm still in the building." He's like, "Why are you still in the building?" I'm like, "What's three floors I haven't checked?" Like, you know yeah. what I mean? I just want to be like, oh, "This is fall. Like, what's almost, in this box?" Yeah, almost almost like a, ooh, a screw. Almost like it's a single player game. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll say this: mm. playing 76, I went home and I was like, "Maybe I should play Fallout 4." Like, I want—I I've, I've never played it yet. Or fun? You don't play it? I, no, I haven't played any Fallout, and I, I popped into this. I was super excited. I, I had to put it down after an hour. Fallout 3 is way better than Fallout 4, I think. Yes, like, there is way, way Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition is one of the best it's, games. It's ever. amazing. I didn't even finish too. Fallout 4. Like, it was just a I disappointment to me. I think it's very good. It's, if you like 3, you like good. I played about an hour of it. I'm, the only thing you might not be into those. is factions. New Vegas leans very, he Here's the, very heavily on factions. The other thing I don't like about New Vegas is you only get a perk every other level. Yes. Fallout, you get it 3, you get it every level. And the way it works in 76 is interesting, too, because it's like... um, On, like, the odd levels, you get... You just pick one of your specials, you know, like to add a point to because there's just one across the board. And then it like gives you two perks to choose from. It's like you could take this perk or this perk and it's like a card. And so it's like you got a one point card. You put it on that perk because you have, you know, two points on it or whatever. Um, and then on the even levels, you get like a card pack and it's like four different perks. So you can just equip them and like. But you can only do as many as points you have, so you like switch perks out and stuff like that. And then once your charisma is high enough, you can trade them with your friends. Like, oh, you take the extra lock picking one, I'll yeah. take this one. And it sounds it, cool. It doesn't it's really fun. work like regular Fallout, where like if you add one to strength, you're you can Strong. carry more shit and no. you're stronger now. It's like your point pool goes up by one. 
so you can equip more cards into the strength slot. Like every card has a specific <clears throat> slot, like strength. Yeah, learn. It's a different system to learn. Um, Playing with Cat was a lot of fun because we're both really into like the. There's three floors in this house. We're going to all three floors. We're going to every container. Like we're both very much like that. But what I like too is that Cat is very lockpick. Like just totally went into lockpick, and I totally went into hacking. So That's like, awesome. if I find a safe, I'm like, "Oh, cat, cat, you gotta come here and open this because I can't open yeah. this." And she'll come down and idea. pick it for me, and like, I'll go I gotta, I gotta give it another try with friends. I had so many technical friends is definitely issues with it. Better because first off, it's locked at sixty. Which is like that's fine. It for oh, the it's, it? yeah, it's not like a competitive shooter or anything. Sixty is fine, and yes, there's a difference. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so many people are gonna sit there like oh, you can't see, yeah, and you can feel a difference. You can, um, you can absolutely see the difference. Um, but like I was like, all right, fine, sixty, it's Fallout, whatever. <laughs> like it's it's that's not like a competitive shooter, but the the FOV is very like small, and you can't adjust it. Uh, it has like depth of field so it's like things in distance are like blurrier than things that are closer and then it has mouse acceleration so like when i'm trying to flick to like shoot a dog it's like vroom, and it's like can you so... not turn that off no that's all locked in mm, that seems like a stupid way it seems, like, it seems very, like an easy option to turn it's very console ported to pc like without all the pc i don't know it could easily be fixed with a patch mm. so i'm hoping that that gets and that's, like, turned around and that's what i was saying a little bit because i know it's not like a full mmo Right, mm -hmm. but it is like an ongoing multiplayer kind of game. Like it's more so than just like here's the game. Maybe we'll have some patches for it. Like yeah. the game could drastically change over the next three months. You know what I mean? Just from people mm -hmm. playing it and user feedback. And like I think of games like WoW and shit like that, where it's like that game has changed seven times. Yeah. And like the vanilla was so out. different than what it so is now. So it's a possibility yeah. that shit like that could change. Even then, I was like, oh, it's Fallout. Like I don't. It's like. I even considered buying it on console. I was like, you know what? I'll play it, buy it on console. Jack and I will play it there, and that'll be fine. I won't have any issues with all this kind of stuff. And then I went to look at the console version, and everyone's version just it, don't it, do it. it. Stuttering up. I was like, game on Jesus! Console. Like, really? I was like, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing oh. this game eventually. Do you know patch it? They have to patch it, right? I, I would assume, yeah. So so like, wait, so Ryan and I played the beta. It was me, Ryan, and Cat in a group playing the beta, and it was like miserable in certain areas. So it your, seems your frame like rate just like. See, Fallout is a game, like Fallout 4, I played on PC for a little bit as well as console, and I preferred it on console. Yeah, I didn't have any frame rate issues on console. I the controls console. on console. Yeah, yeah. I was Absolutely. gonna buy it on console, but I had plays with the freezes controller. like crazy, so I was like, damn it. God, I watched you play <laughs> Just Cause on console. Just Dude, that was, that was, just cause that was the worst was one. Like, you uh, insane. <laughs> like, it's fixed now, I think. I it watched Jeremy now. play all of Just Cause 3 on console at like... 15 frames at just most like at most and yeah. sometimes and i mean like for every seconds. three seconds and he's like yeah it's just how you play <laughs> and, and like literally there were certain times that i'd be in a fight what are you I, doing I, like, you know, i was so it. close to getting all the achievements i just wanted to get the last of them i wanted a thousand point it there was like some points where i'd be in a fight and i'd accidentally clip a tank and it would fly up in the air to explode and i go oh no 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 it would blow up and all the frames would go and i'd be like ah and like trying to fight like through it it's brutal. Oh, I you just, have to adjust how you play just for the frame rate. Yeah, yeah. leave but, the tanks to last so that I don't die. I mean, like, so I, the explosion I could, is going to crash the like, game. Like I could glide up there, but I'll just climb. That was like playing. <laughs> that was like playing some Fallout and and Elder Scrolls on console, where like not frame rate, but like load time. Like it adjusted how I played the game. Like all right, I could go back to that town. We're gonna have to go through like five doors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This way, it'll be three doors. Yeah, I'll go that way. I'll, yep. go, I'll go the longer yeah. physical way of running, but I don't have to sit through five 40 second loading screens. Just yeah. see that dragon the back end of that game was just like. <laughs> that was the worst part of it. It was like Vegas, 45 far, seconds when it to get first through came a out, fucking door. Doors. And sometimes, like, you go into like some houses, you just walk in, some houses are like, it's a loading screen. It's like, all right, the quest is in this house. Cool. You go in the house. 45 seconds to get in. It's like, finally, I'm in. Ah, oh, fuck, it's in the basement! And you walk two feet, then go to a basement door, and it's like another 30 seconds of loading. That's what I mean was the worst shit. part of Prey, especially towards the end, because you got to go to different yeah. segments. It's like, What'd you play Prey on? Console? I played on PC. I played on console. And you see it on console right next to me. I was really annoyed, because mine, mine was like, looked cool, you know, but his was just cool. Crisp. Yeah, no and I was, I was doing 4K60. I bought like, it again on PC. Like, so the loading times on Prey on console were astronomical. Uh, yeah. yeah, and even on PC, I was just like, oh, I gotta go through four doors together. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, takes time. I tried playing that one on console too. Pray when I, it I perfected it on console. I beat it's a good game. it. I, I beat like it five it. times. Phenomenal on console. Game. Five times. Yeah, because I fucked up some of the achievements. So like, you can beat it in three and get all the achievements. But I just like, I had that thing of like, I played it the first time. I'm like, I'm not getting all the achievements. I don't go fuck. And I basically wasted that playthrough as like uh, a completionist playthrough. Well, that's good. Like, you have a fun good. play. Yeah. Then I just kept yeah. fucking playing it because okay, I loved yeah. it. And and it was different enough where like I played one one like I think my first playthrough I did just. Um, like the the upgrade, like I don't remember what they were called. There's like human upgrades, like the human and, enhancements. And then yeah. the next game, I did like just the the um mimic the, the alien. Yeah, yeah. I forget whatever. the name of the aliens. The yeah. alien enhancements. No, no. Then I did a playthrough with nothing. Whoa. Then I did a playthrough with everything, and that was like I was god, you know, because that was like my fourth playthrough, and so yeah. it was like it was different enough. Then I I had to do a playthrough where I. Like, the first game I played good, but there's still, like, a good, good ending, and I missed some people, so I still didn't get it. So uh -huh. I had to do that a second time. Then there's a playthrough where you have to kill every single person in the fucking game. I so, like games where they make you play it in different ways, like campaign. Like, it was uh, significantly different. It was worth playing. It wasn't just like, oh, pick this instead of that. You know what I mean? It changed the play style. Like for Shadow sure. Complex had a good one where it's like they had that like fourteen percent run or something, and then yeah, like get as little as possible. Yeah, it's just like play the whole game again, but it completely differently, and yeah. it like, changes your strategy. Half Life had some good ones of that as well, where you have to play like without shooting the bullet. Yeah, that's why I can't Shoot do one a, achievements anymore. They just kind of just ruin the game for me. It times. depends on the achievement. There's there's definitely ones. I would say if you're gonna do that, try to do it like what you do, get all the achievements, but it's a game where you have to play it multiple times. I would say definitely just have a run where you just play it for And that was my yeah. first game. That's where And it then be. I was like, this is fun, I'll play this again. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, I'll play it one more time. And yeah. after three times, I'm like, there's only a couple of Like I kinda <laughs> ruined I kinda ruined Metro Last Light for me because I played that. There's like a good ending you can get, yeah. but it's like mm. you really need to try to not kill people. Like so you can't just go in and start what? shooting. You have to go yeah. in and be really quiet yeah. about it and everything. And I was, like, kind of trying to do that. So I was, like, reloading areas because, like, if someone saw me and then start shooting, I'd be like, all right, reload it, try stealth again. And like did, like, the tedious. whole game like that and didn't even get the good ending because I didn't that do, like, certain sucks. things. This, so I was like, fuck, I just, like, wasted that playthrough. Like, I should have just yep. gone through and been like, ah! Well, I, I got to the point it. where I was renting games I didn't want to play on Gamefly because just to get the achievements. Oh, see, I never oh, did that. Oh, that. So, like, that, that burned me out quick. And then I'd, I'd play, then I'd play games like Gears of War where it's like, I get all the achievements and then you'd miss the one that's like, get 10,000 kills. I'm like, well, fuck that. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. not going to ever do that. Some of the games where you want to redo the story because it might be a completely different story but it's like 150 hours to do. And then you're just like, can you be bothered to do that? You know, if you yeah. do Witcher, you ch who choose oh God, certain yeah. bits. But then if you do it differently, it can be a different story, different outcomes, different everything pretty much. But it's like, that would take me another 150 hours. You're not I, gonna I definitely do achievements as clear up now. So like I'll do a playthrough which is like, I'm just going to play it, I'll see what I get, and then I'll, I'll clear it's up. Really... Sometimes I'll look up missable achievements just so I... Don't have it to really do. depends on like the achievements and the game to me. You know what I mean? Like Spider Man was that way. When I played Spider Man, I didn't give a shit. I was just playing the game. And then like halfway through the game, or maybe like 25% through the game, I'm like, this is fucking fun. While wow, these trophies aren't that bad, I'm going to get them all. Yep. And it was like yeah. pretty easy to get them My all. My first platinum. It's like, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I only have a couple. I've got like five or six I've on got PlayStation. <laughs> but Spider Man, it's God of War was the same thing. Oh, God, was God of War was fucking amazing. So Still haven't played it. And like, I even really even to. all the collectibles, like the annoying collectibles, the stupid fucking ravens. Nailed them. Like, I left that for the end of the game. And total, like, I got the ones I saw, but I didn't give a shit. Yeah. I was like, I'm specifically, I'm like, this game is amazing. The story is amazing. Yeah. I am not going to mm. fucking ruin this by the first time I'm playing this, having a guide up, like, okay, there's a yeah. raven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I was like, no, I don't give a shit. This yeah. game is too good for that crap. Yeah. So I played it. And what was fucking awesome, totally like luck, and I didn't read anything about this. Um, you know, some of them are hard to get because they're really far. And mm. You have to like yeah. work the like angle it's of annoying. the axe because yeah. like it falls. So I beat the whole game. I beat all the Valkyries. Oh, and then you get the the one that was like just never stopped. Literally beat all the Valkyries, yeah. and then it, you get like an attachment. It was like it's a pummel for your yeah. axe, and it doesn't even tell you shit. It's just like oh, you got there from the Valkyrie, whatever. And I remember looking at the trophies, and I'm like, oh, well, I still have to go back and get the ravens. But, like, it was only that and a couple other things. I'm like, okay, I can do it. I equipped that pommel for shits and giggles just because I was like, ah, I just got it. And I threw the axe, and it just goes, it goes straight forever. Yeah. And I was like, oh. So that made the ravens ten times easier for me to get. I was like, boop, boop, yeah, because I got them all. You have to like adjust thing. for the drop, but then it's just straight away. You yeah, them. it was easy as shit. Which, that game was awesome. Which difficulty did you play on? Though? I think normal. Normal. Yeah. I played it on the one above normal. Oof. Right. I've completed it, but apart from the the 
the fights in Muspelheim and the, the, the misty area and some of the Valkyries. Yeah, like, I can't imagine. Some of those Valkyries are like two impossible. two of the Valkyries took me like two hours. To yeah, eat. but then I had to. I, I took it. I actually Dark lost the pride and went down a difficulty level. I was like, I can't do this. I want to finish the game. Did you guys see that uh, for the first time in like twenty four years, Sony isn't gonna and Sony and PlayStation isn't gonna be at E three? Really? Wait, Why? the whole company's not doing anything. What? Why? Yeah, because weird. they're weird. weird Sony's choice. really weird. They throw uh, you a hissy not fit. as weird as Nintendo. IGN though. threw an article on that soft bunch of people. But like Sony's also the company it. that's like, we're not gonna work with anybody. No crossplay with anyone. Like, do you think stay gonna, away from us. Do you think they're gonna do their own sort of E3 instead? Probably. Like well, they always have the, the PlayStation. The EA did that. The PlayStation thing. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're just like, hey, we have the same games, and I feel like they're gonna skip this, do the little like Sony like expo thing, show the games that you know that they're already gonna be playing. And then next E3, it's like new console, new games, this, 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 and that. Mm. Maybe. We're going to get people out there playing flutes and shit again. Like, welcome to PlayStation. <laughs> There's a lot of that crap. <laughs> <laughs> what was that reading one? Stupid. Or that, like, the reading book segment thing? I don't know. I don't know. They moved everybody from one theater to another. Oh, like, yeah. I get it. I like, get like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a whole... I was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? It's like a whole big thing, right? And they're like, it's not just a conference. It's a show. It's like, I don't give a shit. Just tell me the fucking game. Yeah, tell yeah, what games are coming out. List. You could have no one come out. And do a pro I don't need every there's like 750 like presenters like I'm here to talk about this. Just show the goddamn clip. Yeah. <laughs> show the fucking game. I don't care. Do you yeah. like so bad samurai? So I don't watch any of that Check shit. Check this guy out. I just don't care. Like and I'm even when they I'm not there show, to see that shit. When they show gameplay, but they have like two people come out on stage and like give some real ham commands to each other, like, oh, oh watch my six, and they're like playing. Oh, oh that happens oh, with like, like Division style. Yeah, Division. yeah, 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 we watched the, the trailer and they're like, yeah. I mean, I mean that, that stuff, stuff, at least that's yeah. kind of fun. I'm, 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 yeah. going, I'm that, going for the like, hangar. Cool. I've, got, I've got your six. It's, it's funny at how cover. stupid it is. Yeah, like, it it's is. so Who bad. Who plays like that? Yeah. It's like they don't know their audience at all. Like, these these companies, a lot of the time, they're just like completely misjudged. They just don't want people to go up there and be like, what are we doing? So they like over-rehearse it, and it's like, you've got to find a middle ground. Like. They should have us do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> they said that. Ubisoft said that to us. We, we went and we played Division. And it was, you know, uh, it was me, Jack, Jeff, and I forget who else played Division with us at E3. But, um, forgettable. Mm. Forgettable. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, oh, oh, it was Kent. That's who it was. That's all I, I can remember. You. It was Kent. Wow. We went up and we played uh, Division. and The Jerky King. Idiots. Like, you know, you looked at, like, the footage they had where it's like, all right. Get my back. This guy's gonna take some extra bullets. You got those? Oh, I got armor piercing. Like they had like all those things like that. Um, but then us, it was like, it was like the four of us staying in a circle. Like, all right, we got guys on the next ridge. We gonna get them? We gonna get them? And we like all did the monkey <laughs> each other and then like jumped up on the thing and lit them up. And they were like. If we shoot, if we showed this, people would be like so much more excited. This is what people would actually do in a video. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's oh, just like I love that game. Shit. I have like 800 hours in that game, and all, oh, yeah, all of it was in the dark zone. I like, I like, he was that guy. 800 you, hours. You think I like seeds? He hits like, a clock. Every when time you, he when you hit me, it's like I love min maxing like gear. So I'd walk in with a squad of like maxed out like tinkered gear. The Grim Reapers, would, they called them. We would <laughs> wipe the whole server. We would like, we would pummel someone, go rogue, and then like. Stand in like them pretty like I don't know probably like section four and then just have loads of people like just come in and falling in through like the three story like like um fucking shopping mall and we would just take everyone out God, until like, they the left gamers, the server. You're like the casual gamer's worst nightmare. Yeah, yeah right. What did you get from fully that? on the plane? I don't like you. I just all didn't like you. you. <laughs> like I wasn't any good. Games. No, but we got it. Yeah, and you're like, like look at this piece. That's like, yeah, great. Dude, doing all that work probably made you pretty hungry. Oh, I was starving. You know, so, I mean, good thing in the comfort of your own home, you could cook with Blue Apron. Oh. They'll fill you up while you're slaughtering casuals just trying to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Blue Apron. Blue Apron delivers farm fresh ingredients and step-by-step -step recipes to your door. With Blue Apron, you can have dinner ready in as little as 20 minutes. Every week, you choose chef-designed recipes. They deliver fresh, seasonally-inspired ingredients. Let Blue Apron, I can't read today, do the meal prep for you. Every meal is perfectly portioned. Get rid of your grocery list and let Blue Apron take care of it. Whether you're looking for a quick and easy meal or a full culinary cooking experience, Blue Apron lets you choose from a range of recipe options. Get out of your cooking rut and experience the joy of new recipes. Uh, Lindsay and I have been having Blue Apron for a while now. Probably, probably like... Almost two years, year or two. Uh, we get three 
three meals a week. So usually we do like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays are our Blue Apron nights. Sometimes we can't have it. Yesterday we went out to dinner. So tonight is a Blue Apron night. I think we have some kind of pork dish left. I had steak the other day, steak and mashed potatoes, cheesy mashed potatoes, very delicious. They always give you like, you know, some kind of vegetable or side dish. It's really good, really convenient. Uh, so check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash off topic. That's blueapron.com slash off topic to get your first meals for free. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Not brew apron, just so you know. I did say brew maybe two or three times. Brew apron. Brew apron. Brew. brew apron. Yeah. I oh, haven't even brew. have it. I've had nothing but Dr. Pepper Cola. I think I need I need yeah, usually like two beers to be surgeon able to salt we call it on this we yeah can't, we can't get away with the actual yeah surgeon salt surgeon salt you can't get away with um you know the the old DP I like uh, you could you could throw oh, DP. doctor for surgeon I would not replace pepper with salt, salt. <laughs> yeah yeah pepper with salt like oh yeah <laughs> it's good I'm you want right. to get you a biscuit you want some bread in that you want to roll no, I'm good pop that right in there. Oh, Gav, you see the uh, new Office for Siege? It's getting warm in here. No. I haven't either. Well, so, oh, okay, check Are they this out. Some? Check this out. There's like a top hatch, right? Yeah. And it's like above the top hatch. It's uh, You see like this kind of like cylinder type object. kind of like Ella's mine. You see it on top of the top hatch. It like clings onto it and then it starts electrifying the hatch. Then you realize that the camera flips it so it's upside down. And so it's like, that's not the top of the hatch. It's the bottom of it. And so there's, it's an operator, his name is Cade. He throws like electricity, um, like, I don't know, sticks or batons or whatever. It sticks to the oh, bottom Nightwing. of the top hatch and it electrifies it. Oh, so they can't, oh, damn. Yeah. That's useful. That nuts. Then there was a, a different chick, Fuck Nomad. You, thermite. She's like walking down a hallway. She has like an AK and she throws like a dart left. Yeah, there you go, it's right there. Okay. Oh, so they're oh, yeah. showing yeah, like, oh, like, yeah, that's, like that's a cool reveal. Like, oh, that's the top of the hatch. Like, oh no, it's upside down. Oh, look at that guy, dude. Le Leonidas, <laughs> <laughs> he's badass. He's like, go ahead, try to break your back Kate. on the mountain. Fucking laser sign. And then there's a fucking laser sign. I'm so mad they stopped doing those voice videos. <laughs> no, did they? I miss the video. Oh, it wouldn't have been as good as Thatcher's. Thatcher's is the Thatcher's best. Thatcher's is really good. Um, then there's Nomad. GPS satellite. She has an AK. She's walking down. Drugs. She tosses like a dart to the left, a dart to the right. And yeah, right here. And it's like, all right, she's shooting some devices it's like. Trip mine type thing. Yeah, she's shooting some stuff down the hallway. And all of a sudden, it's like. Where? Nope, too early. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, what? I don't even know what just happened. I don't know either. What the what? I don't know. Huh. That one confuses me. Is it like a stasis put down field? Like black a ball or something. I don't put know. Put down gravity that, grenades? It can't be like that. The game doesn't have physics that hole. work that way. <laughs> it's crazy, Siege, like how much one or two new operators change the game every yeah, time. Yeah, like Clash out. really changed everything up, like, big time. Because you, it, it gave use to... Um, Crossbow, what's the gypster there? Oh, yeah, Capital. Yeah, yeah Capital. Yeah, he became really useful when Clash showed up. Just like burn that. Bitch. Are there any that are completely useless? No. Is it like uh, Tachanka? Tachanka. I mean, but he's a, he's a god. He's useful for the memes. Yeah, he's useful. He's a god. He's a bloke <laughs> with a who is. Have you seen the voice actor for Tachanka? Uh, no. He's like this like six seven Russian dude that's built like a fucking mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> He's, yeah, no, he's a big dude. He has a bulletproof head, though, doesn't he? Chanko. No, he, no, he doesn't. Or a bulletproof screen on his... He's got the uh, screen, oh, he's got the screen on the he's turret. Head. I, don't That's know. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's like something you have to, like, people shoot him in the legs a lot. <laughs> Well, yeah, Cause, yeah, because yeah. Uh, yeah, the turret has, right, like, that was, a bulletproof. That's what I'm so he'll, glass. like, people will put down, like, that deployable shield thing, and then he'll put the turret behind it. Yeah. So then you got like that mm. screen and But you're, you're just a sitting duck. Like, you, yeah. you never want to be locked in position in Siege. Well, we did one time. do. Because we were just like fucking around casuals. We had someone set up a chaka turret and then another person have clash and put her shield on her back and then like duck in front of them and then just <laughs> rotate where the bullets <laughs> That's were. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Alfredo 
We were, I, I was like streaming with Alfredo one time playing Siege, and we were doing this the Siege roulette thing that we do every now and again. Which just like randomizes. Random who you, operator, who, operator who you're going to be. That's really fun. It's so much fun. It's, really it's the best thing to do in Siege. I love doing that. So Alfredo got Tachanka like so many fucking times. He kept getting Tachanka and Blitz, and he hates them. It kept giving me shield ops, and yeah. I don't fucking play shield so ops. So he got uh, Tachanka, and such an asshole. Um, not the only time you've done it, but he would like, Find places to set up the turret and then bust out the window because he knew that people could spawn in a certain area. So people would spawn and run up and then just get laid out by a turret. You'd see like three turret kills because Alfredo <laughs> was just looking at where they'd spawn with a turret. Just like <laughs> we, we did we did a custom game once. You're and, a piece of crap. And yeah, can't. he's a monster. <laughs> you're, a, you're an awful yeah, he's person. Awesome. Like you're the reason I don't like playing games. Yeah, but when you play what? with him, no, it's no, 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 no. See, sometimes I'll play with Alfredo, and it still disgusts me. <sighs> like yeah. he's on my team. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh, we used to play PUBG. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like. I don't feel good about that. Yeah. I just saw what you did. Yeah. Like, I'm still mad. You're like, sneak off, get six kills, not say a word, and come back and be like, what are we doing over here? <laughs> it's like, I've never got that many kills in my life. Yeah. I used to, Michael and I used to play PUBG like, uh, like uh, after hours, and I'd be like, there's, there's, there's two to the west behind the le like, left side of the building. And I'm like, got him. He'd be like, what? I just turned that way. <laughs> No, was, where are they? And Alfredo was just looting through the shit. He's like, he's like, oh, they didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> they begged. Right? I just kept I saying, this, I, I like, need these I was, pills. I'd be like, dude, you suck. Like, you're awful. Yeah. And we're playing duos. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you know, just the idea of like spotting someone's like, oh, I think there's someone behind that building. And Alfredo's like, yeah, he had like a three times to go. Like, yeah. like he's in the past already. Or, there, or there'll be like, you know, times where like, I'm dead and he's winning or, or wins the game. He's like, ooh, we pulled that out. I'm like, not really. Like, I didn't... There was a couple of times that Michael died right away and I just went the whole entire thing solo and won it. And I'm like, hey, Mikey, we did it! I was like, <laughs> God's sake. Right. Do you take joy in like pissing off people? That of course he does. Look at his division the only, like, Why else be good at a game, right? I don't know. Like, do you like enjoy when you know you've really annoyed someone? Is that like something? You no, get? it's less. I don't like annoying people unless it's a game like Division where it's set up to do that. Um, I mean, because like, yeah. What about when you shoot people through walls and then you write "report me" in the chat? <laughs> so, okay. Sometimes I fuck with people. One of the good things as well be is like you know like each operator in Siege has their abilities. The best ability, the, the secret best ability in Siege is when Alfredo dies early and he spectates you and gives you like call outs on what to do. It's like uh, having God on your back. It really is. And you suddenly like have this super power that no one else had. If there was friendly fire on, I'd just be like bang. <laughs> Where, right, where do I go? Uh, like, I'm pissed off. <laughs> oh, Alfredo died again. Oh, oh, I would just go, I would just literally go in alt chat and like, Dan's, uh, he's in the locker room. He's moving down the he hallway. He knows that. <laughs> he'll, he'll, warn, he'll warn the enemy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Oh, yeah, it's a good time. Oh. Tell you what though, we, we, we've been playing, like you say, Blackout and... Uh, that's, Blackout's it's great. Fun. That is Blackout's like, great. when you get to the last sort of 10, we've been playing... Fours or whatever it's called, quad. Quad, yeah. Quad. Quad. Although with three oh, yeah. people. Yeah. We never have a four. We never have a four. Yeah. When it gets down to the last bit and there's still three of us alive, like, honestly, that's so intense for me. I like, I like, I've done things like jump out a plane or do some You're crazy crap in real life. In real life, yeah. In real life. Yeah, yeah, in real life. And there, I sometimes need to recover more from the adrenaline from playing bloody blackout than I do. From there's like, so much yeah. tail. Like, there's so, so much map, and I'm just it. like. I heard you had. I heard you had a freak out or something. He's playing on yeah, a beanbag. He'll, he'll just slump back after the game to be like. <laughs> yeah, it was, like, it was a, a couple games the other night where we had a good choke at like second and third place, uh, and we're like in the lobby loading the next game, and Dan's like. I'm still coming down for this. <laughs> I, 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 I totally, I know that, that feeling. I, I totally get that. I did. I have been shot at. Horrible. horrible. Yeah, I know, right? But like, it's somehow that's just sort of like, yeah, sweet, get on with it. And then afterwards, <laughs> then afterwards, you're like, oh fuck, that happened. Whereas with this, you're like, oh shit. Oh fuck! Is there a guy over there? Oh my god! And then, and then you're like, yeah. you're like, fuck! Okay, shot, okay, shot. He's under more command of his own. I'm like, I'm like, oh, real fuck. It's like, holy shit! It is a lot of pressure. It's a lot of it's, pressure. I did horrible yesterday. 
We had a bad night. Horrible. We had a bad night. I had like HQ eight. was busy as hell. I, I don't know how many games oh, we actually man, played. Oh, no. Some some probably carried over from the night or like the last time I played, but I had like eight games in a row with no kills. Did you? Yeah. It was <laughs> oh, it was just a flat line. Awful. On the thing. Yeah, it was like Usually you're like the dead. best out of us before. I like, usually oh. get a couple at least. I just I was so fucking disgusted with myself yesterday. Like even usually if we get fucked at HQ, I'll get like a kill and then and then get cleaned up. But like I just kept getting my ass kicked. Isn't mm. it just gonna get worse? Cause is is it Microsoft bringing mouse and keyboard support to the console? Yeah. Oh, I mean, sure I mean that game, that's oh, when I stopped playing the game. That. I think each so developer has people to People like this enable. guy are going to be able to play it. That's no, when I stopped I playing. Play. Oh, okay. That's not fair. It's not no, fair. No, I'll call it that. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's how <laughs> no, no, okay. So this is... I already can't use the fucking this sniper rifle in that people game. People like me who can't <laughs> do things like mouse and keyboard, it's just such a disadvantage. We're, we're playing yesterday. I'm like, dude, I fucking hate snipers in this game. And you guys, and I think you were like, oh, why is that? I'm like, because I can't use it. And they can. Yeah, that's it. It's like yeah. that's fair. I yeah, I can't do we it. Have a team where like <laughs> you'll find like a gold paladin or Koshko or something, and we were just looking at it. It's like, should we even bother? <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, honestly what are you like, staring at? It's just like. Yeah. What? Yeah. He, he, yeah. he picked up the big fat sniper rifle. He was like, "I had a gold oh. paladin." He's like, "Oh man, yeah, that's oh. what I had. I found, I what found a gold, I found what? a gold <laughs> paladin in a box, and I was like, oh man, because I knew I had to take it.' Well, now you know that <laughs> you have that responsibility. Yeah. To be ah. awesome. I saw. I walked in the room. He was like, with the sniper, like, oh fuck, I've got this responsibility. Like, yeah. I, I don't fully I, kitted out everything on it. I'm just like." <sighs> Does anybody have any 50 cal? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, I have to. I mean, maybe you find someone standing still at a distance. I did shoot at a guy eight or nine times who was fighting someone else. <laughs> Finally got him in the head. Yeah, that was my I was longest kill I had quest. so far. That 10th time it was, was like, the charm. The, the, the dumb motherfucker didn't leave, right? <laughs> it's just somebody going, oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. And he I never got off. The, it, I mean, he was moving like. Yeah, and I gave him iron lungs as well. I was like, here, have some iron lungs. Them, yeah. Have a bunch of 50 cal. And then later on in a different game, I was like running full power. I think I had Skullcore on as well. And then some guy was just like, <laughs> like nailed me when I was running. I was like, yeah. well, fuck you. Yeah, you I, saw, you. I saw kill cam footage. It's like, it's always nice when like I see Dan die in my kill cam. And I'm just like, oh, great. Like he's shot him in the head and then me in yeah. the same span of 10 <laughs> seconds. And yeah. it's like, well, that took him two bullets. Yeah. There's actually a way you can tell if Michael has Skulker turned on. <laughs> because you hear, you suddenly just hear a lot of, because he's like, Because you're Skulking. Right? <laughs> so you What's Skulker do? Skulker down? is when you, when you use it, you crouch, you crouch move at like double speed. So it's so almost, you like almost. glide across the ground. <laughs> so it's almost You'll be as having a normal screening. conversation with Michael, he's like, yeah, so tonight, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, it, it's 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 just we, it's so much smoother because you also when you're crouched, you don't have the head bob when you're running, so it's just you're like, yeah, you just <laughs> move. It's then, like you're on ice. You're almost as fast as sprinting. You're but like the thing slightly is, slower. I didn't realize that it doesn't do the same thing as sprinting in terms of I tried to jump off the dam to like, <laughs> right, to like, to like glide down to the water and everything, but I was skulking, so I was like, yeah, sweet, jumped. But because the game is like. Well, he's obviously crouching, and he's just walked off the edge. He just went, <laughs> yeah. And then I just dropped and, and just died. Sculped off the like, dam. just sculped off the dam, and <laughs> <laughs> he just fell down and died. A lot of trouble up at that dam. Yeah. We yeah. Started, we get into it. Uh, my friends, and I, we started landing on like the boat, like area, like actually on the boat. Oh yeah. And we found out boat that there's drop. a lot of like, um, like you know the bowies or whatever in the water. There's like bowies, bowies, bowies. That's bowies. different bowies. to bowies. And not bowies. Bowies. not David Bowie. David, David, David Bowie. Bowie. <laughs> David Bowie. Not, not David not Bowie. The bowies. bowies. Bowies, Bowies. Whatever the bowies. hell I'm afraid of. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the hell I said. Uh, <laughs> Boaty, Boaty. There's like um, supply chests under those. What? Yeah. What? Where? Yeah. Where? Yeah. yeah. You swim down below. Underwater? Like, underwater? Bowie. <laughs> Are you serious? Bowie, yeah. There's shit underwater? Yeah. Where is this? Under the buoys. I had no fucking idea. It blew my mind. I know what I'm doing tonight. Which area like is that? The, the the boat, the docks, the boat dock area. Oh, with the cargo yeah. stuff. Yeah, That's yeah. Wicked. I was like, oh man. Every time it's like, that is loot. wicked. I had no yeah. idea that was the my dependable loot. How did <laughs> you Dude, find out about HQ? That? Really just, soured me last time because I run with a bunch of tryhards. <laughs> so you, yeah. you, but you, you, you're not a tryhard. You're not a tryhard. Well, I mean, no, I, he, I don't. He, I, he doesn't uh, run with them. He commands them. Who do you run with? Who do you run with? to try. What are their names? Uh, you wouldn't know them. Would I not know them? No, there's no one that carries them. What are their names? No, they carry over from Siege, but like, that's like, it's, I have like a group of people in Siege. That, Do they like, call I each other by their handles in real life? This is one. No, we got each other real life names. Okay. This is one person that Alfredo plays with us in Siege that I won't let them live it down that I caught them in a trap one time and killed them. 
I think it was Sandy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, completely. Well, it was that custom map thing where, like, it was a bunch of us. Oh, oh yeah, like, we'll, we'll do, like, sometimes Jeremy and I will do, like, a custom match with, like, like subs or whatever. And then we'll do, like, pick and bands with, like, operators and shit. So, like, the pick and ban phase will start, and I'll go, I'm just going to ban Twitch. There's gonna fucking man my like my main operators. No, there it is. There's the band. Well, and they'll the, like ban. They'll ban Donk and Twitch every single because time. Because we know his mains. But like the thing is, I am usually on Alfredo's team in those. Um, but <laughs> the one time I wasn't, it was like me, Jackie, and like two other people. We were against Alfredo and Sandy. So many plays with and a couple other people, and I was just like, I was like, okay, guys. I was like in the Discord with them, and I'm like, guys, listen. One of us is taking Capkin, one is taking Frost, one of us is taking like um Goo Mind Man, whatever like it's Legion. 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 Like, see, it, and, and Alfredo <laughs> goes, no, no, wait, wait, here's the here's the thing. Because like one of our guys dropped, so like they're we're all in the same Discord. We we pick teams, and then after that, I'm like, all right, you go in that like that like kind of like little voice chat, like this squad voice chat for this team and this the other team will stay here. So one of our guys had the drops, so we had to bring in someone else. So I pop in with like their their team will serve before the game starts and it's like jackie jeremy like you were saying and i pop in i'm like yo guys like we gotta swap someone else out like because one of the guys had to go and then jamie just goes all right this is how we get alfredo we throw the capkins we throw the frost traps we throw that i'm like you fuck face i'm in the server yeah. talking to you <laughs> right now listening to me what, wait till i'm out of here i just announced that i'm so in like here. literally when i was playing all i was doing is i took frost because i think they banned capkin so I like took frost and I ran around. And I just put frost traps in the most random spots, like middle of hallways, like the because worst. they because Alfredo just sprints in because he like knows he's like oh they're over there and he'll run in and he'll get caught in them all the time because he's just not paying attention. Same with like you know the uh, the Dude, Jackie would just Jackie would just be playing and all of a sudden you would hear like a frost trap go and and you just hit from across the room who puts that there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. And the whole time I was playing, Jackie kept being like. You gotta get him, Jeremy. You got, he'll never live it down. Like, he won't be able to live with himself if you kill him. If you kill him, it's over. <laughs> and, like, the, there was one time I almost killed him, and I was like, I'm losing it! And, like, the bullets are going all around him, and he just, like, went back inside. Like, Damn it. Yeah, once I got that kill, I was like, oh, that was Jeremy, thank God. I almost fucked that one up. It's almost, like, worth two kills, almost. <laughs> oh, sure. It's yeah. like, it's, or more, yeah. What was it when we played, um, Burger Grounds, and we, uh, me, Ryan, and Trevor jumped in and, like, to the same story? server and like you there was a bunch of you guys you guys were playing and recording and yeah, then oh, me yeah, ryan yeah, and trevor right. were, we're like let's play. yeah me yeah you guys shooting let's play me ryan and trevor were like yo can we, let's just jump into the same server as them so we like jumped in and we were like looking to see where you guys landed and shit we landed near you guys and i remember like shot one of you and there was like shot me yeah i saw jeremy jeremy was like oh i'm down oh i'm alfredo because <laughs> it's like alfredo plays <laughs> down and you're like oh motherfucker because i was like shooting at him for a while and he just turned around and bit me and then there was one time i think i downed like jack and it was like me it's like jack behind a rock and i was the other side of the rock and me and michael were like running around the rock playing merry-go-round and he finally like kills me and starts beating me with a fucking pan and he's like i got you i got you you piece of fucking shit and he just like beat me into a yeah, pulp and funny. my rag doll was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was like i was like you may have me in siege but i got burger groans <laughs> when you watch that video it's really funny too because like i i think i was the last one left on the team it got down to like four people or something and i came running up into the circle it was when you you were down in a circle it was closing in the wall was coming in and i like pick you up I'm like, run, Michael! And we like getting caught on fences. We jump over it. We get in the circle. And I'm like, move, move, toward the house. And I like saw someone coming and like just shoot him down. And it's like, you killed Trevor. And I was like, move toward the house. Suck a dick, Trevor! <laughs> <laughs> like, just happened to still be alive. Dude, I'm a fan. I like Battle Royale. I mean, there's plenty of stuff I don't like. Like I said, like I'm not a huge fan of Fortnite, but I like the the game type, I like the mode. That's another thing I saw, like, I'm super into Blackout and Call of Duty. And I saw someone, like, I, many people online, but they're just like, fucking Battle Royale, this is such a fucking fad, can we be done with it? And I'm just like, it's a game type. Yeah. Like, it, like it ain't even Call of Duty. If you don't play it, just play multiplayer. There's multiplayer. I also it's just like that idea of like, it's great. oh man, like that fad team deathmatch? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's a game type. Or, <laughs> like, who cares? I mean, you know or what's a like, fad? Horde mode. People, That's people, a fad. People getting mad about Battle Royale. like, oh great, there's another one. Now there's eight. But <laughs> don't play. Like, it. Okay, in since the inception of shooters, like, there's eight <laughs> of them? And you're like, this is fucking crazy. 
Man, how's like, there's like 600,000 shooters. Dude, it felt like the it's most silent release. Yeah, but it's, Battlefield it's just out came already. out, but the Battle Battle Royale isn't out until like next year. That's going to sit between... Oh, it came out? That's going to sit between... Yeah. Just came right? Out. Yeah. No, worked. I don't know. It, it came, came out oh, no, sorry. for like the service. So like early access or, yeah, like or whatever. Early access sorry, stuff. it comes out next week. It's uh, with like the 20th, I think. That's what it is. Still. It's Battlefield it's 1. It's like five bucks. Bloody good. Battlefield 1 was fun. Battlefield's a fun we game. We played a lot of that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. It's actually. too large scale for me. We were still no good. But I yeah. like playing the small. It's weird. I don't play so, Battlefield the way people play Battlefield. I, hate, I, I, hate I go with whatever smallest game mode there is, yeah. and oh, that's how I play Battlefield. God. Yeah, that's, 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 that's not the way you're supposed to play it. Though, it's right? really not. No, no, it's I mean, really it's not. not. That's why I'm not a fan. It's like why I'm not a fan planes. of Big map you, you, you play, and Everyone just plays the big there thing. There is yet yeah. to be a Battlefield game where I got in a plane for the first you time. You fly it. They're I hard. Crash it. It. Like, they're <laughs> hard. Something about like the games, controls dude. in Battlefield. It's like, well, you know, we've got the altitude. It's like everything's just so overly complicated. What What about the GTA? What about GTA controls? Well, you do. I immediately bit it. It's like... <laughs> like, how, how's that even possible? But then some people are just amazing at it. Oh, like, yeah. you know, you're insane. You're like, what yeah. the you're fuck? You're like knifing the yeah. street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see people yeah. that are like are like charging at another plane in the sky. They'll get out, fucking shoot it with a fucking bazooka. Oh, and on then on. while their plane is falling, they'll get in their plane and then like drive out. <laughs> like, yeah. Hyper-realistic. Like, like, like Goldeneye. Yeah. Uh, but like, the, so, so the battlefield is going to sit between PUBG and Blackout, I imagine, in like pace for... Battle Royale. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like Battlefield's already a big game. So it won't be as slow as PUBG, but not as quick as Call yeah. of Duty. Yeah, I thought like yeah. it'd be you know, a balance. I would assume. There's no way yeah. it'd be as quick as Call of Duty. And then like yeah. Fortnite's on a totally different like quickness scale. Yeah, it's like way further forward. Um the way to play Battlefield, of course, is to load up Battlefield Bad Company 2 mm. or Battlefield 4, take the ATVs. You strap like four C fours to them, <laughs> and then your friend gets on and drives toward a tank, and you watch them through binoculars with the remote. <laughs> <laughs> and then when they reach the tank, you go like, "Well done, comrade." <laughs> and then load up the tank goes. <laughs> what was the one we were playing a lot where you could still kill people with the, the defibrillators? Oh, I used to was, run that, was that? Was that four? Going, that was. I think it was, was, four. was that the one where you could infinitely get your friend up. So like, I would be I in a window four. sniping, and he'd just be laid on the floor. With the I'd be just like zapping. I'd be his shooting, shooting, shooting. I'd die. He'd be like <laughs> shooting, shooting, shooting. Die. Yeah. And oh, which is actually yeah. bad because they still get each kill. I think they still get the point. Yeah, but it doesn't. Yeah. Matter. Yes. No one it doesn't the, erase a point. Just, no one plays the game type to like to. Do the game type, they play it to get kills, right? So even Pretty much. You, a lot of the time, even if you've got I'm like a an very objective, selfish player. Yeah. I, just, I just want to do well for me. Exactly, even if you've got <laughs> okay, like an objective, like, yeah, like, yeah, oh, capture the flag. He's alive and you're <laughs> rubbing the <laughs> things together. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would, like, we would just team up like that, where it's just, I would just sacrifice all of my pro progress and I wouldn't get any kills and I'd just keep down. <laughs> the same in Halo 3, I used to just be the driver. Yeah. There was, what's that level with the dishes in Halo 3? Like stand, is it standoff? It's not standoff. With the like uh, the, the satellite triangle, dishes. Like shape the sunset, satellite dishes, it's like the sunset. Level. And there's like a cliff on one side, and there's a, there's like two Either bases. Way, on that one. Oh, oh I, know, I know what you're talking fuck. about. Uh, the last two like no, bases. Not yeah, the two bases. Like, yeah, I know stand, what you're talking. Stand. And there's that, there's that big like dome. Yeah. Like, dip yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Standoff. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, I remember the name of the level, but yeah, I, don't you know, might I think you should stand out. Yeah, we 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 get it. That was a good warning. We get in the warthog on that one. As long as you kill rockets. I can drive so well around that map, and Dan got like forty nine kills. I love that. Like I didn't and die, and I was just he didn't die. You got, you got perfection, and you were just like, and it was just it was so fun. And I didn't get a single kill, but I had so much fun. Yeah, he's got like so many wheelmans. I think in Halo Three, it, on the original, I don't think it tracks on MCC yeah. anymore. But the original Halo Three, you can look on Bungie.net, and I had so many wheelman medals, like yeah. thousands. But we got like yeah. amazing. We got like the best warthog team. Like you, could, you could always smash other people's warthogs. Like we were just amazing, just with the warthog. But like I lost all ability for the rest of the game. <laughs> like I couldn't snipe anymore. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> but I was amazing in a warthog. That yeah. was it. And I was good at drugs. I, uh, yeah. I had a friend exactly like that in Halo Three. When you looked at all of our stats, um, you know, you could see how many medals you had in each category. And his, I think his like. Third best medal was double kills, and he had like fifteen. It was like fifteen double kills, and the next one up was splatter medals, <laughs> and he had like two hundred. <laughs> like, and then like the next was real man, and it was like five hundred. Like yeah. so that's all he did was Makes just sense. drive. It's fun. And then like if if his guy died, it it wasn't like okay, let me strategically get this back here and pick up the next guy. It was just like well now I'm alone. 
be <laughs> equal. Like, now I gotta run people over. <laughs> All we would be doing in between when we didn't have a warthog would be trying to find the warthog. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> like, be like, All right, well, that one's over. Next one, where yeah, is it? Yeah, sometimes the warthog will get really stinky and we'd swap stinky. out for a new one. We'd do a pro swap and just yeah. kick carry on going. Oh, yeah. when you do that quickly, it looks. I did yeah, the same you, thing. Like, the warthog that you were in is still moving and you're already. Yeah, like, yeah. it's and so you're like, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Uh, but it's like <laughs> it's like you have that that set too. Like if you're driving the warhog and then you have someone in the gunner and then the the driver dies, it's like gunner hop out immediately, drive to the guy, jump out, get back. In yeah, the yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like I got your seat for you. It's it's like mm, I'm not gonna switch. I'll drive it back to you. But. The amount of fucking times that we've betrayed people because they've got in the gunner seat or something. Oh. Like like oh. Like, oh. like he doesn't so even need to say out, anything, man. right? He doesn't yeah. even need to say yeah. anything. He will drive up. But there'll be someone else in the gunner seat. I'll just be like. <laughs> Sweet, <I'll do> that. <laughs> like immediately, and, immediately. And it would happen sometimes, like several times per game, and we would keep count of how many betrayals we each had so we wouldn't get kicked. So I'd be like, Oh, yeah, you killed the last guy. Let me kill this guy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll down our so could be in the hog for no reason. And I'm the sick fuck. But then, but then, <laughs> yeah. but then sometimes it works out. Yeah, but out here's where... the thing they respawn. Yeah, but sometimes yeah. the, <laughs> the thing is, like, if we do that to someone, then they'll kill us as like a betrayal, but then we'll boot him. So, like, they yeah. Yeah. it's, it's yeah. a vicious cycle, but like, yeah, so it's, uh, it's worth it. I feel like, Don't get in the for the most part, I have to tell Gavin not to. Usually, when we're doing blackout, it's usually like they never give us a fucking teammate. If they do give us a teammate, to be fair, we don't talk to them. We're on like a private chat, so then they just fuck off and do whatever the fuck they want. Right? Yeah. Um, but in the rare times they're like with us and near us, every time Gavin's like, "I'm gonna kill him," <laughs> it's like just don't, just don't even kill him. We should like, just all stand around him and then all mow him down. Yeah. Or Gavin's <laughs> driving a car. He's like, "I'm gonna run him over." And I'm like, "Don't run him over." Yeah. I haven't done it. <laughs> you know, haven't I haven't done it yet. He might be the wingspan in the whole thing. He said it like so many times. Well, there was it's a, like that blood loss <laughs> every a truck. time. You and you and uh, Dan were in the back of the truck and we were just coming up on our team and I was like, "Shit, I do it." Yeah, there was one time last night where we were in one area, we were in HQ, and our teammate was in like Nuketown, and we were like, oh, yeah. fuck him then. But then he managed to get a helicopter, and he flew all the way to us, and these two were like, should we, should we kill him and take the helicopter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were like, he was going to land right next to us. Right. It's fun to talk about, but we've but, never but then, done it. But then instead, he like jumped out of the helicopter when it was still in midair, and it crashed, and then these two were like... He just saved himself. And yeah, didn't yeah, we didn't kill him. I was like, he has no idea. Yeah. Was he was dead. I was like, if that helicopter touched the ground, he was dead. And then he just crashed it, so we were like, he'll never know. Yeah, he was lucky. That's what I like about. The... Then he did better than all of us he in did. the rest of the game. He did. That's all. That's all I like about the division because you like everyone's running around getting loot, and you call in that extraction, and like everyone sees it on the map, and then yeah. everyone goes over there, and then you just have two teams just there, and it's like. Is so anyone gonna pull? Who's gonna pull the trigger? Who's gonna? Are we? Are we gonna make it out of this with our, all our loot, or someone gonna pull the goddamn trigger? <laughs> that that game had some cool concepts. I just never played it. It, it had a lot of issues, but the it. concepts were cool. So I'm I hoping like, the second one is really polished. I like what we've been doing in Blackout. Like it's fun to play games after work, and it's fun that they're like contained. You know, 20 minute, 15, 20 minute ish rounds, depending on how fast we get wiped out. But I did say this. It was yesterday, the day before. I was like, man, I almost wish. Like, we were still playing Destiny or some other game. So, like, we could do this where we play a couple nights a week, but actually, like, win sometimes. Mm. Like, instead of, like, Blackout, it's like, I got this gun. I got this thing. Oh, we died. Maybe next one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I died. Maybe <laughs> like, if we were playing Halo, we would win some games. Yeah. Yeah. There would be some times where, like, we, we won tonight. Like, I remember in my thousands of games of Halo 2, it'd be like, oh, tonight was a good night. You know, I won fucking 12 games out of you know 15 or 20 or whatever and blackout it's just like oh we almost won tonight <laughs> we almost won like three weeks and <laughs> four hours four hours yeah. in but we almost won one I, it's just I like look, it's such uh, a fucking it's so that pathetic Halo probably isn't gonna be so that anymore high. you know like it won't have that same beauty to it i would have like, to go back to play halo 2 or 3 like, yeah. i would play halo 2 or 3 right now if i went and played i halo, like, love online. halo 3 i love reach is well, like like halo reach us sitting here talking about Except it i'm I'm, like, I'm like just just I'm us in blackout and you guys talk about the warthog i'm like I'm him doing, bringing I up standout i think we could win a game i love or standoff or whatever One of standoff them. i think it's standoff stand by me it's standoff because it's blackout is a map and then standoff is a map but like just talking about that map i was like oh i used to love that my favorite thing would be get invisibility and get on a mongoose Look, it looked ridiculous. Oh, well, it's alive. <laughs> you like what, where is he? Oh. <laughs> it was useless, but it looked awesome. Oh, my, my my win percentage on blackout literally says zero percent. I, I assume like when it's like when when you finally get a win, whatever that looks like. Well, yeah, what's it gonna be? Point zero zero one percent? Like what? Yeah, I mean it won't be one. It also yeah. has food. 
Don't touch. Don't touch that. Hey, hey, you know what? Hey, stop that. It's Thanksgiving. You can have it. It's not Thanksgiving. Wow. <laughs> That's not what your mouth is saying. The... God, oh, you're ruining Christmas. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, stack no. Coke cans on this table. <laughs> 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 Man, Michael, you know, what you got over there? Well, sometimes, you know, these podcasts go on. We're sitting in the seat for a long time. Fortunately, I dressed comfy with my amazing pair of MeUndies underwear. Mm, this episode, yeah. I'm wearing them right now. I think they're a salmon color. Are they salmon? Or are they? Hang on. Let me whip them out. Uh, well, they're like reddish. Here's I the... have those ones. Hopefully not this actual pair. No, we share. Oh, we share. All right. Uh... This episode of Optopic is brought to you by MeUndies. Dan, you can do whatever. Don't worry about it. This is the year that you can finally tackle your holiday shopping early. And guess what? You can get everything you need for you and your loved ones at MeUndies. MeUndies uses the coveted micro-modal fabric, which is three times softer than cotton. If you've never felt this fabric, get ready to experience pure bliss in underwear form. You can also get a style that is perfectly suited for you. Men and women can each choose from four different cuts. You know how much I love MeUndies. They provide all the right support. The micro modal is truly life-changing. They're my favorite pair of underwear I've ever owned. They're super soft. They're like, it's like silk, but better. I think it's like, I'm pretty sure modal is made from if you take silk and butter and combine them, uh, but it's not as fattening. This holiday season, MeUndies will be releasing a new print every Tuesday. That means you'll have no excuse not to celebrate the holidays right down to your very core. But why stop at Undies? This year, MeUndies is launching their holiday prints in lounge pants and onesies as well. MeUndies has a great offer for our viewers. For any first-time purchasers, when you purchase any MeUndies, you get 15% off and free shipping. To get your 15% off, your first pair, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash off topic. That's MeUndies.com slash off topic. Uh, I have a pair of the uh, onesies in the office. Holy crap, they are like, it's like the softest thing I've ever held. I, I wore them around, I don't even remember what the hell we were filming. Ryan and I recently did, um, we, we finished Star Trek, and I was just wearing them the whole video. I don't think we did face cam, but I was just wearing the MeUndies onesies the entire video. And they're so soft. They're so soft. Uh, so if you live somewhere that's cold, check them out. Be an adult man baby, or woman baby, and wear a onesie. Did they have the feet? They had the feet, too, I think. I'm pretty sure they did. I think I took my shoes off. I don't remember. So everybody went and got food. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'm like, oh, fuck, they all left. And I'm like, oh, they're right there eating. And then, then they left from there. Did you go around the back? Where'd you go? Yeah. Everyone. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, you're going to dip that in some bread, dude? I... All right, in bread. Are you, you going to dip that in some that bread? bread. <laughs> put, it, put it in water right in front of him. Just do it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. So I talked about this um, last week, Gav, mm -mm -mm. on the last podcast, but now, theoretically, it's over. Podcast? Bunny week. Oh. This yeah. is the end of mm. bunny week, but a bit of a hiccup. In the middle of the last podcast, Sarah slacked me, fucking, we lost the last 25 minutes of part 10, which was one of the hardest fucking levels we did, right? 10 of 13. 10 of 13. So, on the upside... Like, if I recall, we started that level at the uh, halfway through part nine. Spent half of part nine, couldn't beat it. All of part ten is that one level. Ugh. So we spent like a good hour and a half to two hours to beat one level. <laughs> and we lost the ending. So on the upside, like, if we just go right after this podcast and beat it, we're good. We got the video. You know, like, there's plenty there already. The downside is... Careful, what does it say on that camera? Careful. Don't, don't careful. The uh, downside I should have bought the tape. Is, I'm sorry. You fucked up. The downside is that really means oh, napkin, nothing napkin, napkin. as far as quick, completion. Because every time we play it, we have to start from the beginning. So Stop it could it. take us another two hours to beat the level. Yeah. And so what you're we only have today to do it because they need to edit it probably today. I think that episode comes out like Monday for first members. Shit. So we literally need to finish this podcast, do the post show, and then hopefully for the love of God, beat that level again. It might be. So they have an ending. So if Bunny Week, if you've watched <laughs> it and we don't beat part 10... Oops. Also, it's just gonna cut. We're gonna be wearing different clothes. The mixer's broken in the side room. We borrowed another mixer, but now we have to give that mixer back today. So we're gonna have to do it at our desks. So we're gonna be in a different goddamn room playing it. Are you it. shitting Yeah, me? we're gonna be playing it at our, like, probably my desk in the main room. 
Uh, and hopefully we can beat it. So if there's a hiccup, you know why. It's what are you doing over there? Series. What the it's fuck is going on over there? Doing. Well, show me. I want to show you something. Dude, fucking check this out. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> it took you a long time to get there, but it's funny. <laughs> I, credit where credit's due, you got me. <laughs> you asked to stay in and blood, right? That was good. Yeah, yeah, we'll blur that. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was such a big build up. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't want Alfredo to see what I was doing. I feel... Oh man, oh. brutal. I'll get another war. Oh. <laughs> You're the worst. Well, it's just so funny. <laughs> When Fuck he does sake, that, guys, careful. When he does something like that, how can I not do it? It's, you so, reaction. it's so easy. Yeah. Yeah. You can't. They, that's the one thing about Cheat Hunter. You can't let them know your weaknesses. They'll uh, just be. That's too weak. You. He can't avoid it. It's like Superman being like, that "Kryptonite doesn't bother me." <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. You can't. You know. I'm on to you. Dan just started laughing and spit. Yeah, I saw it. Jerk. No, I think it was jerky. <laughs> it, was, it was jerky. I saw it too. I'm glad you pointed I'm it so out. I'm so sorry. I saw, saw it. it. I saw it immediately went boring on Dan, and we were on the wide, so they probably caught it. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna get some of these. Is that the venison one still? No, this here. one's a some sort of buff but, mm. uh, boar. 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 Oh, wild boar. Yeah. Mm. Is it actually wild boar? Or yeah. Is it just like well, with beef. Well, They're all pretty much mixed with beef. Domestic boar. I feel like yeah. smell like beef. Mm. What's she but doing like, here? Bring back that mixer I just talked about two seconds ago that they still need. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. that's the mixer we borrowed for the side room. So you guys have to do, you gotta do bunny after this. Yeah, you go. When you gotta do it. Damn it. Is it Cheapen Hunter character building then? Bunny, 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 bunny. I think. Like well, can't. it's either character building or character breaking. It's one or the other. There's mm -hmm. no in between. Break them down, then build them up again. Hopefully. Or yeah. you break them down, and then they, just, they never oops, recover. They're just a pile of goo. I don't know. I'm, yeah. just, I'm still <laughs> trying to piece together my life. Yeah, I feel like like Alfredo. He got built up. Yeah, I think so. Well, this is this is great to hear too. Where like you know Alfredo came in, he's like, eh, we broke him down a little bit. He built him back up. But I don't really think about that anymore. It's like he's, he's Alfredo. You know what I mean? It's just like another. He's in the group. He's an achievement hunter. The best is when Alfredo's like, dude. I was like, I was hanging out with kind of funny, and Tim was like, you changed, man. We did, we did the morning show, and afterwards, like, you're a team hunter. Like, you're a dare. That's like, what I love changed. to hear. <laughs> what, what is it? Like, does he pinpoint, like, what's changed? Uh, yeah, you just said it was, like, just loud. And, like, <laughs> like, very, like, stab like, here. Loud. Uh, <laughs> like, I, yeah, definitely, like, jabbed at, like, Tim a bit. And, uh, like, really, like, asserted my voice in the conversations and stuff. And I was like, yeah. Dude, one thing that always gets me now is, like, I'll play Siege with, like, my chat or whatever, and like something will happen. And I'm like, oh, why did you call that out? They'd be like, oh, I did. And then I, I'll, I'll, I'll like go. I was like, someone clipped that. And then there'll be like shit <laughs> happening all over the place, call outs flying, and the person will go like, oh, oh, he's 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 like over to the left. I'm like, dude, if you don't say it loud, <laughs> I am not gonna hear that yeah. shit because like a cheat hunter has. It's, it's, over there! It's, 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 maybe, it's maybe drawn out anything soft. Also, we don't even say the right call outs. No, They're no, like, no. Right, orange stairs, white stairs, where uh, of us were like, he's to the left! <laughs> There's a guy in the thing! He's under the light! He's out the window! <laughs> They're playing they're playing without you and they're like, yeah, yeah, just get the guy over there by D, he's over on the left. And he's like, oh, Alfredo's is here. Fucking get him, he's over there! <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I can't hear a fucking call out anymore unless it's like loud and assertive. Yeah, 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 a little really, bit, but I'm in the best almost way. I'm almost sorry, yeah. but I think it's a good Don't be thing. sorry. Yeah. It's, it's an improvement. What? Is it? What? Yeah. It is. Loud, obnoxious, insulting. <laughs> so basically <laughs> more, more American essentially. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. You know, we northeasted you yeah, real good. Well, they, <laughs> your core. I feel like even in Austin, Texas, like Achievement Hunter really embodies like a northeast vibe. It is. Like yelly and fighty, and I'll get you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm from the east. Yeah, super east. Just further. Yeah, east east. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, even, even then, though, it's like, yeah, it took over the loudness and the like shrewdness of the, of the northeast. It doesn't have like the I don't give a fuck about you feeling yet, though. I feel like. Where it's like, you know, it has to come to a point if someone says, there's someone over by the stairs, and then you go, I don't give a fuck. Right. It's the like, hell away why from the fuck are you, why are you talking to me? To me? Yeah. That's, that's the we haven't hit that yet. Why are you, you talking said, to you me? Said that to me. <laughs> said that to me. 
<laughs> He's like, I've, I've got that. Sometimes. I, when I drink, I tell Gavin I don't want him to talk. You also shove him, and this is also really I shove funny. Gavin a lot. I don't now. think I'm... you were here. It oh. was like it was like within the last week. I'm standing like at my desk, like near my chair, and Jeremy walks in. I don't remember if it was after a podcast. I don't remember what the hell the timing was. But Jeremy walks in and he comes near me and then just kind of walks away and he's like, I was gonna shove you. And I'll go, You shove me? And he's like, Yeah, I go. I ain't Gavin. And he's like, nah, that's why I didn't shove you. <laughs> I, I like, had an urge to shove him. And then I went, nah. <laughs> yeah, I like those moments with Jeremy. Where you can just tell. He's just like, he's just like going about his thing. And then he's just like. <laughs> or, or I'll just say something that's completely neutral. Like, in not offensive in any way. And he'll be like, why are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, or he'll go, or he'll go like, why are you alive? No, I don't say that. But I do ask him why he's talking to me. You also something, be something like I'm just heading in the I'm just going through this door, Jeremy. I'm just going through it. You're like, why are you talking to me? <laughs> also, like I don't want I don't want to hear from you. It's right. more like on podcasts and stuff, but then you also start slapping his drinks out of his hand, which is pretty. I, funny. I've only done that once, as far as I know. Funny, my hand. Yeah, I slapped like, a drink out you, of your you, hand you're, right you're before the like the, the, fiasco. Like the tip. The tip is the double because it's like both knocking it out of your hands and potentially into your face. Yes, <laughs> that's a brutal one. That's the double whammy. Yeah, I, and, and you go for throwing drinks on me or yeah. putting bread in them. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's funny. I'll be honest. Oh, look, look at the camera. <laughs> Until I'm good. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> dude, dude. I'm good. I, and this is the, <laughs> this is like, like this is, I got exactly what I wanted. <laughs> like Don't worry, Gavin. This. They can't show it anymore. <laughs> It's funny. I got exactly what I wanted the last no RT problem. podcast, where there was like two instances where I threw water on you. I did it once on the RT podcast, and I think I did it on off topic too, or something like that. Why was, do I come to work? I don't know. It's funny though, because um, when you're in videos, you're safe. But like, we were. I was at a team hunter late doing something, and you had already started the podcast, like the Monday RT podcast. And so Lindsay's like, oh, "I'll meet you in the car," and I was like, walking in the car, I'm like. I could go throw some water on Gavin. <laughs> so I walked over, and I'm just like, oh, I've done that like two times. I'm like, all right, I'm going to fill this. And usually, though, to be fair, I I put like a little bit of water because like it gets wet. Yeah. So like I filled it to the very tippy top. Oh, like, my God. One, like one of those cups, like all the way oh. to the tippy top. And I walked in, and they're doing the podcast or whatever. You know, I try to like find a moment where like I'll be noticed at the last second. I literally got to like the foot of the set until Gavin saw me, and he just went, "No!" And then I went, "Hey, I brought you some water." And then I just put it down, and then I left. Yeah, my heart rate went spike. I'm like, oh, thank you. And it's like I watched the footage. Everyone on set, Gus was like, "He leaned back." You know, Barbara went like they this. Were gosh, like from the crew. <laughs> Really fun. Without any context, people would be like, what the hell? Yeah. It's like, it just gave the guy some water. On audio <laughs> podcast, that must sound great, too. It's a random freak out for no reason. My new favorite thing is, like, walking into the office in the morning, seeing Jeremy's playing Spyro, like, the Reignited Trilogy. Correct. I just go up, and I'm just like, Jeremy, I just really don't understand why they had to change, the, yeah. like, the pottery from the first game. He like, does that. Like, I love the first one so the much. Pottery. And he's just like, why? Why are you the way that you are? Yeah, that's what I've been There's saying. A bunch of people he comes in and he goes, I'm just... I mean, it just doesn't match. It doesn't feel like the original to me. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> Get the like, fuck out of here. To, to explain to Dan, the, like when they announced the trilogy, the remake for Spyro, when they started putting, you know, like images out of what it looks like, like hardcore fans like lost their shit. Like, well, that's not right. Yeah, that's what? not right. This 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 pots off. It's a different shade, and it's like it's, it's a fucking remake. It's a remake. Like, like it's, it's a like remaster it. of the game, and they're like, well, it should be a remaster, but it should be exactly. People the same. are starting to do pictures of levels, and they take like the old level and the new level, and then they do the entire color palette of the level, and they're like, the sky is this color, and in the remake, it's this color, the floor is that and that, and, blah, and like cares? every single aspect of it. So, which even you, as a huge Spyro fan, said like, cool, play the old game. Yeah, it still Who exists. Cares? I play the old game all the delete. fucking time. Who cares? You, really? you like oh. it that much? I've played oh, the yeah. original. Oh, I love the original. I've played the original played trilogy it. probably 50 times at least. Fuck, I mean, 50 times? Find, he's did probably like 20 times this year. Yeah. Did, you, did you find all the gems in the first game? Hmm? Like, I played that for so long, and I just I think I was missing like five gems. And yeah. I really, and I was like... Because there was no way to tell where they were. Exactly. Like, there was no, like, thing that said, oh, you're missing this yeah. many gems. When I unlocked that, the there's, like, one? a final level you yeah. get in that first game for when you get all the gems and everything. But, like, that was before I used 
I couldn't like just go online and be yeah. like, where is this uh -huh. gem? That wasn't a thing. It was uh -huh. like, I wasn't going to wait. I wasn't going to shut down all the phones in my house and wait for that to load up. <laughs> and you, you know, didn't so know that's the one you're missing. My dad would have killed me. You didn't know yeah. that that's the one you're missing either. You have no idea. Like, so I had yeah. to replay the whole game again, just looking in every nook and cranny to find the last gem. Mm -hmm. Couldn't find it. So I never got to play that last level. Oh, dude, it's Assassin's yeah. Creed. I, I, that's why I want Michael to play it so bad. I want Michael to play I'm it. I'm not going to find all the gems. Some well, I like know, it. but like, the, even like, not to the extent of finding the gems, it's like in the first game, there's like dragons. That's like the collectibles, really. Yeah. It's like freeing the dragons. And like, they'll tell you there's like, there's three in this level. You don't need them all, but it's like, you'll get to that point where like, there's some you They're can like see. They're like the jiggies. You can Banjo. see them and you're like, I don't, I don't know how to fucking get there. And it's like this whole convoluted thing of like, charge onto this and then like go around this cliff and come and like all these things that I just want to see someone else try to like, I saw you out. do one the other day you're like oh check this out I was like woo, 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 yeah woo, 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 woo. and you're like well it took me forever as a kid to get that oh my god and I was like I just watched you do it and I couldn't replicate that <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you just did he's like you jump over here go around here go up this you go in reverse here and that's the trick jump here jump on this one come back on this one and then you get the dragon oh and then also there's a guy around the corner there's already the people like <laughs> journalists making posts of like Spiral reignited the Dark Souls of 3D platformers or something oh, like that. I'm like, well, guys, like, like I understand is, it doesn't seem hard to me because I've done it a million times and maybe it there's certain parts that hard, but like, it's not it, that it, hard. It it's really easy. Hard. It didn't like, look, look Dark not. Souls hard. They, no. I mean, even then, the hard, I would say, like, even what Dan was saying, it looks hard to get everything. Yeah, yes. I wouldn't count that. Yeah. Just like, to play through the game is easy as fuck. Yeah. Well, though some of the thieves are pretty hard to catch sometimes. You know the little yeah, they're harder in the in the new ones. Are they really? Yeah. Oh god, how they harder? Well, he'll tell he you. The, yeah. <laughs> I've heard it already. <laughs> they're hard. They're harder because they took the paths that the thieves used to take. But on the PS1, it was like. Eh, 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 eh. It, was straight, it was straight line. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. Then now and they you could like, cut them off. Yeah. I think you could cut them off. And that was how you got them off. Yeah, the now you really sometimes can. sometimes they do that and you're like. Ooh, ah, nailed it. Because you knew they were about to make some weird turn. Now yeah. it's like smoothed out. So oh, it's a little no. harder. And yeah. as well, sometimes like where you start. If you fall off of it, you have to like go all the way back around. It's like sure oh, do. Like, <laughs> yeah, you do. The people on the forums bitching about that too. I'm bitching about everything. I haven't been there in a little while this has now. Been a good episode of the patch. Yeah, Love video game stuff. Game stuff. Love yeah. talk. Video we talk. We, no, we talked about shit. Talk about we almost shit ourselves. Yeah. We opened up with bread. dry heaving and shit. That's what made it off topic. Put, That's the off topic sprinkles on the gaming. We also and now I can start feeling we need a cast. We also, for Extra Life... Um, oh, why? <laughs> that's funny. I'll save you! So, uh, audio listeners, what happened is they cut to the bread in the water. That's okay, the whole thing is... I don't know what that says. But is it, does it say DDR app? Dr. F. Don't you cut that out! <laughs> <laughs> um, now it's just a snotty tissue. Um, Barbara asked me about this before Extra Life, but she made a goal that we blew past at one point of... Um, we switch casts for off topic and always open. Uh -huh. Oh, so, so off topic. We stole oh, the set. see, that was that was still our <laughs> show. We just stole the set. Right. This is full on like we're doing. We, see, uh, but I don't know. Shots and talking about sex and yeah. dicks and asses. But that's the thing. I, mean, I don't know about half of that right now. I know, but like episode, really like, digging. We'll have to answer me. questions. <laughs> like really <laughs> digging. Will we be able to Fox switch podcasts or will it just be a set? Like, so we're assuming that the always open cast is going to talk about like. Shit and See, vomiting. Them, to be fair, they don't have to. They just have to do it on Friday. If you want to match the, they have to do it on, match the podcast, I'll be honest. You. It's more of a, of a and we, we got to talk about like fucking and dildos, which yeah, we yeah. also talk about anyway. Yeah. So they're gonna do an I mean, episode we can, on Friday. We can, we can and we'll do it on you know whatever. Like, real day they, I think it's a great idea, and we should do it as accurately as possible. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Well, I assume we'll do that sometime Dude. next year, like early next do the year. Menu, I guess. maybe after the, the holidays, shots, like January or February. Get Texas we get we get oh, Texas. Oh, we got Texas making drinks. Yeah, we got yeah. Texas. That's, dude. Okay. All right, we win. We came out on top. Texas. Texas. So you know, Michael just... switches that up on me a lot because I call them Austin for a little bit. <laughs> Are we gonna do like the the like the okay Cupid like question sex thing? Do like, whatever, man. Whatever it stuff. is, we'll do it. Oh. Someone told me I have to do run a show, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Want a show? What's well, because it's a they they have a real show where there's like segments. Yeah. and they're like, okay, let me put the, here like we just go and show up. It's like a call sheet and things. It won't be a call sheet. 
I bet I'm gonna fucking all right. There will. Well, be so better. what do you mean? It's like starts out and they say here's the segments. Well, I think Barbara usually does that. Barbara, and, Barbara and Mary, you have been on the show. Yeah. Barbara and Mary, all they're like, okay, this is yeah, segment like, one. Like, no, I know I was on it. I was like on it one time. Yeah, that's you how it like, works. Yeah, it's good. And I remember the so segments. Like, I don't remember the intro. Someone was like, oh, Michael, you have to do that, and I was like, oh, I'll do it. I just drew got some people walk through the door. So they're a little someone bit walk walk through. Through. a little bit. And theirs is like a real show, whereas someone's like, this is a set where we talk about. Like whatever assholes and shit yeah, so and walk with a strap for a couple on, hours. Like through the door. <laughs> they can still do that, but it's like you have to separate the shit structure. Right. The it's like yeah. okay, it's like, this yeah. is the vomit section. It's usually like, all right, guys. So we're gonna talk about shit for the next twenty minutes. You know, okay, they even yeah. they know they yeah. know what's coming. Yeah. We Would just they be roll annoyed onto it. if we cut a glory hole into that set. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. well, well. To be fair, to be fair, day of you mean our set, right? That's yeah. It's a light modification is to fit our style. But the real question is, who's gonna use it? Like a Something in there. I mean, well, what else is a glory hole other than the hole? See, yeah, but then, like, you, like oh, I think like, more well, importantly, that'd be for a glory hole with like a menu over it, like what you also, if, you, one, you, if someone in the Chew and Hunter used it, but we didn't show who it was, could you accurately guess who it was? There's no way could. I could use it without you guys. I bet you could. Yeah, so no, he's, he's that's cheating. No mine. way. I'm talking to white guys. <laughs> I bet you guess Gavin's. Uh, yeah, that's a good <laughs> point. I mean, yeah, not, I, not uh, even one of them because that's cheating. What about like, he hasn't been mutilated. The thing, the thing, the main challenge of switching the shows would be. Us not like attacking each other and oh, yeah, letting yeah, people yeah, talk. Yeah, They're very like it's a very mm-hmm. it's a very nice relaxed show. <laughs> I don't know. And I then can the do flip that. Yeah. the flip is they on off topic. They yeah. gotta get fighting. They gotta like, interrupt yelling each other. and pointing and interrupting. Singing they the ain't gonna be nobody like making sure like logo. Oh, this is a delicious berry drink. Someone like I'm drinking Makers and random another shot. Cola. cola. Mm. They better all come so they have to get, stumbling like, East away Coast from off. They they do. They need to East Coast it up. I think Mariel's got it in the bag. Mariel, I think is, she. Yes. I think she absolutely. I think she tries not to do that for the most part, so that'll be like a little freeing for her. Yeah. But everybody else, like Canadian Barbara, she really needs to come out and treat the show like. Is there like kids. a typical? She hates kids. I know <laughs> that Mariel and Barbara are on like almost every episode, right? Yes. Is there like another typical cast member, like a, a usual cast member, or, or the two of them? Or does everyone no, I else think switch it's up? Pretty much the two of them, and then they have other other. And people. then it's like other guests. I mean, they have like frequent, you know, people on. But Max is like a Max Max might be Lindsay. on the most next. I mean, Lindsay does it, but certainly you know she's still like a guest for the them, episode. Yeah. She's been on a bunch. I see a lot of clips of always on because I watch like well, honestly, I don't say I, I watch Bruce Lee compilation. Not like cast, but I mean it's Barbara Mariel and, Te- and Texas. And Texas, Texas is on every yeah, episode for sure. He's every episode. He's in that. He does. He does the, the drinks soul. and all the hair and makeup. Yeah. And my, that's, that's the other thing too. We gotta look good. My only interaction oh, with him one yeah, time is that he told me, "Oh, my hair." He likes bald guys because he likes um, like blowjobs from bald guys. Yeah, what? yeah. That was like my only interaction with him. <laughs> nice. Is, is that why you bought this? Is that why you bought this? Very show? nice. What difference does it make? And it's better to hold it. on to. I think yeah. he said he likes it. But it's really his hair. You can grab onto it. Listen, I don't. I mean, what if instead of that, you have a hand? You don't have to worry about the hair getting in a. That's just perfect. Yeah. Oh, like a, like a place. That'd be yeah. awesome. <laughs> if I could get hair, I would do that. Or like those molds that you can get, that, like you'll fit a hand. You just put them on someone's head and then they just slough in. That'd be quite good. Or just super glue gloves. Just get a... <laughs> yeah. Some... Hey. Excuse me. Just, like, just get one of those. One. Uh, but then how would you get your helmet so that way you know there's some safety on the side for uh, what? For, you know. What so if you, if you punch rope? someone in the head while no, they're blowing no, you? No, 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 not punch someone it's in the head. It's if you're into blowjobs and it's, spanking. It, it, you, you smack you just a, you just, them you someone with your cock, they, they're like, oh, it's all cushioned. It's like, oh. Yeah, but I imagine if you're in a cock smacking, you don't want to do it in a headgear. That's just like, that's like a, that's like a condom. It's like softening the experience. Right. You know what I mean? You ease the person into it. Yeah, you're going to leave be, a mushroom step on a helmet. You don't want to start smacking someone with your dick. It's just like, oh, here's this helmet. Don't worry, we'll get to it later. When you cock slap someone, do you use you use your hand or you swing your hips? How does that work? You can uh, use your hand. Or do you like take- You can do either, either but I feel like it's too much of a wind up without the your, hand. Yeah, you take your hand <laughs> on your cock you really, and you just- and you, know. you don't have as much control. You yeah, might miss, that, yeah. You can, it's like, it's yeah. like swinging a bat, like you know. And it's, it's you don't yeah, want to like yeah, actually yeah. hit it, it's like a light. What's the point? Well, all right, come on. You Sometimes you really gotta go for it. I mean, you gotta ease into it. I've never really done it. Not that I've done it, but you gotta ease into it. Uh, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun episode. Long story short, cock smacking aside, 
I think it'll be good. It was also funny because I think yeah, you can get a little harder than that. You know, that's like, a good example, like, like the well, meat. Do it on our um, yeah. face so he can really oh, get. Oh, here we feedback. go. Yeah, you gotta, you, gotta take, no, you, gotta, you gotta take it out of the wrapper. You gotta take it out of the wrapper. Well, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> that's gonna, hang on, this hang on. gonna smell. Shh, shh, so like, hear it. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> you go oh, made it far worse. <laughs> and also because his mouth was up and go, oh, also what kind of like, is <laughs> Oh, and it's alligator. <laughs> you like that alligator meat stick. Mm. Oh. So um they're in for it if they want to replicate this show. <laughs> yeah, What's fucking good luck it? being this. <laughs> This is like a this is a train wreck that somehow but still got to the stage. It was even funny going back to like the the run of show deal. I'm pretty sure Barbara emailed me, but she was like, "Hey, Marilyn and I, I had an idea from here. It's stinky. It's just, like a good stink, but That's a real stink like, that one. We had an idea for extra life. We were thinking about, you know, we could swap podcasts, we could do this and that. And it was like a nice formal, you know, like at least a paragraph or two email. It was yeah. very like, you know, let me know what you think. We can go over it. Da, da, da. And then again, in Chimanar fashion, I was like, "Yeah, okay." <laughs> that was that was my reply. I'm like, sure, sounds good. <laughs> Didn't need more than that. Oh god. I I should have just replied with a thumbs up emoji. Does always open have a theme song? It's got it's got a jingle. It's got, it's got a beep. jingle. Can yeah, we do a comes, whistling it, it version of the jingle? Yeah, but then we're changing it. We're supposed to just oh, take shit. their show. Yeah. Right. You know what Fuck. I mean? We yeah. just got to swap. We're already doing the glory hole. Oh, we're we're doing doing the What's the glory hole in? Just somewhere in the wool. Someone. Yeah. Do you not know how somewhere in the works? wall? Just at a toilet store. But it doesn't. I mean, the set, set well. doesn't really have walls. It's got no, the it's benches the back and of the it's restaurant. Got, it does. Under the it under does. the. It could screens? also. Yeah, just it, put, put it behind the. It could also right. be through one of the one of the cushions. Can we, can yeah. we get a screenshot of the set? I want to plan out this. Yeah, yeah, set. yeah. We I need to see the we set. We need blueprints and schematics. Uh, we need an engineer. We need an architect. If there isn't one, you could just like put a toilet stall in there as well into mm. the set and then put a hole in the Play a game. Who's that dick? It's Bill. Jeremy. Yeah. Could you ba, get like? Ba, 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 no. like yeah. Yeah. Then, the, oh, then we have like if we have a set thing where like where you're standing, a slide goes and it drops. And, like, <laughs> yeah. and it, it was me. How there much all the dicks were through and you how just much, put name tag? How much? Yeah. How much does it? That'd cost, be a fun though? game if it wasn't so inappropriate. Yeah, but how much? How much does it cost to get like a mold of a dick? Oh, oh, dude, oh, I got one in the office. Yeah, 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 I got one yeah. sitting on my desk. Okay, okay, so I'm here thinking, we go. I mean, you know, the like, glory hole could easily. No, I know exactly what you're saying. It could oh, be like here. Not even. Or like through just the What are you right there? there? What are you standing on a ladder? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, no, you that, there? Gavin pointed out something like five feet in the air. <laughs> it could I be in that bookshelf. It could be in the bookshelf. Like right behind the Bernie. Yeah, yeah. That's a blank space. Maybe between two books it could come through. Between two books. He's on a bunch too. The glory hole story. He's putting something through the hole though. No, we no, don't know. That's what I'm saying. You, put, you get like one of the, you get those molds of people. I'll put my dick through the hole, but I know you'll just censor yeah. it. So the thing the about that, the mold, though, is... Don't put Coca-Cola on the end of your penis. If you, right, <laughs> I'm gonna brand my dick. Put your I'm gonna dick get a Pepsi a logo in. tattooed oh. on my head. If you... I just sat <laughs> on my nut. Oh! <laughs> That was out of nowhere. Oh well, half of my body was off the seat. <laughs> you wearing sweatpants? Ooh, I said, I, I, I like I swung back on, Damn, and then my, my 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 thigh like on. just squashed my Big nut on the side of the seat. Just getting excited thinking about this glory hole stuff. Oh, just getting What's a glory. <laughs> I, 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 I waited and you went for it. I went, I went in my head. Glory, and I was glory like, hole. Gavin went right for it. Yeah, no prisoners. We should end no, the podcast. No, well, we still have another. Yeah, but Michael, we, we got Bunny to do. Yeah, we got post show to do too. And also, we started late. We haven't even been two hours yet. Michael, uh, but, you know, I'm real worried about the way I'm dressing right. So am I. You got it. I listen. I know you love Spyro, but <laughs> wear some other fucking clothes. Is this okay? a new tattoo? Is that, it is. is that new? Yeah, that's it a looks good fresh. One. Yeah. It is very fresh. It, it is yeah. fresh, like a fresh pair of pants and shirt. <laughs> you can get it all with Stitch yes, Fix. <laughs> this episode of Off Topic is also brought to you by Stitch Fit. Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that finds and delivers clothes, shoes, and accessories to fit your body, budget, and lifestyle. Stitch Fix is the best. The sign up is the sign up experience is super easy. <clears throat> you just go to their website, click, 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 type in your information. You get amazing items sent right to your door. I love using it. Just go to stitchfix.com slash off topic. Tell them your sizes, what styles you like, and how much you want to spend on each item. You'll be paired with your very own personal stylist who will handpick items to send right to your door. Then you try them on, pay only for what you love, and return the rest. Shipping, exchanges, and returns are always free. There's no subscription required. You can sign up to receive scheduled shipments or get your fix whenever you want. Stitch Fix's styling fee is only $20, which is applied toward anything you keep from your shipment. 
Get started now at stitchfix.com slash off topic and you've got an extra 25% off when you keep all items in your box. That's stitchfix.com slash off topic to get started today. Stitchfix.com slash off topic. <laughs> what's, what's going on? <laughs> I was scrolling through like glory holes Twitter and then oh. he just leans over with his fingers and he goes eh? and, and just a like on a random like tweet that, that, that's not like even losing it over <laughs> not even no it was like not even a tweet but someone's like reply to a tweet yeah so it was like it was it's definitely like two people having a conversation and I came in and I was like hi <laughs> like I, Alfredo likes this <laughs> <laughs> I was I was loving it. Oh man, they can't even show me anymore now. You just Done. took you just took Jeremy out of the game. I'm totally out of the episode you took now. Took Jeremy out of the game. God damn it, Gab. That is oh. on. I'm hey, yeah. No, they can get you in. No, percent. This is. Oh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> wait, 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 don't worry. You know what that means? So when they're doing that, what? Is that the focus is really close? Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh they're second. good. They're if good. you didn't call it, you might have got away with it. <laughs> Um, that was I good. Felt like that was good. <laughs> also, means you could be when when you're blurred, you can also get back. your knob out, and they would never see it. You could so. get your knob out, and then they'd, trust me, they'd have a button that the, it would immediately oh, yeah. blur it. <laughs> Boom. Um, also, I should mention today, mm. Black Friday. Ooh. If you're watching this live, or you know, we pre-recorded it, but you're alive. We're still alive, hopefully. We got hey! a sale going at the Rooster Teeth store. Black Friday sale. Um. I, and I bet there's a bunch of stuff. Is it was that say twenty percent? Twenty percent off site wide. Off site wide Black Friday weekend. They didn't permit me to say this, but I'm gonna guess. Yeah, we also the twenty percent is if you're like a pleb. We probably also have well Cyber Monday is probably also a thing. Yeah, you know, ooh, you could probably save a lot of money. Buy your stuff on Monday, the Monday after Black Friday. I'm sure they'll mention that they're probably saving that sale for oh, the RT yeah. podcast. Another twenty percent or whatever. Like, yeah, got to yeah. talk about that Cyber Monday. But if oh, you're a real, <clears throat> a real connoisseur, you got a real sharp eye for some savings. What you want to do is you want to stick around for Garbo Tuesday. Garbo Tuesday. <laughs> so that's that Tuesday. <laughs> save Tuesday. your money. Save spend more. Yeah. Save Garbo your money. Tuesday. Spend more. That's smart. <laughs> that's the that's the slogan. Garbo Tuesday. One percent off all the cheap and hundred merchandise. We're bringing it back. Yep. It was such a hit last year. One percent off. It's a Garbo Only sale. What? Nineteen less percent 19 off. Nineteen less deals percent. So a you few can days be, before. You can be a sucker. And buy, you know, whatever on Black Friday. Oh, I'm saving 20%. There Garbo's is. There's here the man himself. To tell Garbo. You his 1% off. off. The Santa Claus to Christmas, Garbo to Garbo Day. Second year, Garbo Tuesday. He made it a whole year. People, for some reason, <laughs> wanted more of them. And I believe we'll even have a Garbo related item to purchase in the store. Yeah. Will Garbo man himself be for sale again? I don't think so. Uh, yeah. I think like the honestly, savings were phenomenal. The savings were yeah. phenomenal last year. He was the only thing that wasn't one percent off. It should cost one percent more. I think it was one percent off. No, he was one percent off. Well, then but got, he cost a million dollars over, dollars, over so. time. Like at one point, Garber Man was marked down like half a million. Yeah, dollars. it was down to like seven hundred and fifty. He was the marked down to like seven hundred fifty. Oh, one percent saving was amazing. It was one percent savings, and then and then there was like a twenty percent savings, and then if, uh, the first member discount, they knocked off like three hundred thousand dollars from Garbo Man. Fuck it. <laughs> but uh, now he'd be worth like ten million this year because his stock's gone up. Yeah, yeah it has. You know, Especially with Garbo Man. He was a nobody got last year. He's, like, he's got he's merch. All over the place. Um, but yeah, you can pick up a, a Garbo bag. I believe they tell me it'll be in the store. <laughs> I really hope it is. Uh, we did a little, uh, we did a little, a little bit on it thing. on Awu, which will come out on Monday. Yeah. Again, prepping you for the Garbo sale. Yeah, whatever. Black Friday. Who's a what's a cyber? Huh? Garbo Tuesday. Garbo Tuesday. I gotta point out, like, if you <laughs> if you use money, the code Garbo more. on Tuesday, it's a fucking amazing slogan. You save, you save some, right? You're you're an idiot. Yeah. Like, you're just stupid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, money. Thank what you for using garbo code Garbo. Move. It's it's a real Garbo move. It yeah. makes no Garbo sense. It, it's like, it's, but go for it. There's a, Thank you. The, there's a Garbo bag. Yeah. Again, they tell me it'll be up. I bet it won't be because they'll, they'll be Garbo. 
and not put the fucking bag up. I'm like, hey, it's available two months after Garbo yeah, Tuesday. No. But Garbo there's store. one. There's this has been going on for months now. There's one future Garbo product in the works. <laughs> That's that gone through a lot. It's gone through some fucking <laughs> research and development, and I'm super excited about it. I don't know. I imagine it'll be out next year. Yeah. I mean, hopefully not 2020. It won't be out this year. They're like, oh, we got to take it back to the drawing board. I am personally, as Garbo's manager, overseeing it. They're making a Garbo product. Little does the audience know, since Garbo Man's inception, several times, like, how about we do this? I'm like, no. Not Garbo enough. Right. Hey, we want to make this Garbo man thing. I'm like, that's a useful Like, there can't be a Garbo shirt without, like, the, the holes shirt in being it. sewed up. And or, like, like, yeah, or like it has to make no sense. It has to suck. bigger than the other, yeah. you know? Like how something's a shit but good. It has to be shit. It has shit. to be shit. Shit, shit but, but shit. worse. Yeah. yeah. So it they brought me shit. one. They brought me, they're like, what about this? And I was like, okay. If we make it Garbo. So I've been trying my best to just really ruin this product. So it doesn't it's function. It's awful. It's awful. It doesn't function in any way that it should. I've been witness to you replying to slacks and they're like, listen to this. And then you're like, listen to this person. He's like, do you want to make useful thing? Yeah, like and I'm outraged like, in the, the office. Back, like, it's like Garbo enough. What, what am I just going to make something Garbo that's useful? This is crazy. <laughs> the thing is, someone in China is going to be making that. And they'd be like, what the fuck am I making? <laughs> like, like, what's the point in this? Like, why am I like, doing this? So hopefully, Millions that being weird. said, hopefully I get some <laughs> feedback <laughs> on that soon. I'd love I don't even want to like say it'll be because it'll be eight. That years being said, the Garbo out. bag does actually function. As the Garbo well. bag is a bag. The it should come with a hole. <laughs> not a hole in it. it. Should come with a hole in it for sure. Yeah, well, it does come with a hole, but a hole? it comes in a hole, but it's just on the top. So it also has a zipper on the uh, outside that well, looks like Garbo's mouth. It's just like a. It's it's the bags we had at RTX. They're putting them in right. the store. Uh, I'm, I'm told. Could we From get a Garbo moon ball where it's all black, but just two of the holes are white? And it's with a the square. It's gotta be a square. Yeah, it'll be a square ball. It's it's like it doesn't like syringes. It doesn't like bounce. If they can it's make heavy. it not yeah. bounce yeah. at all. If, if, if well, both would just take all of their failed molds and like the you know like a Mission Impossible way, they like, build in the face and it looks like a ghoul. It'd be like all of like this the half. That'd be Garbo. Balls. Garbo balls. That'd be Garbo balls. Garbo balls. balls. You, you need to uh, keep the sanctity of Garbo. You know? There's got to be an audio box inside, so every time I hit something, you just go, oh. That being oh. said, use oh. your Garbo code on Garbo Tuesday to buy an Achievement Hunter Moon Ball. Yeah. You can make out There's a lot things. of those going out. A lot of people, people are buying up Garbo Moon Ball. I mean, moon ball. Achievement Hunter Moon Balls. Make sure you call them. You can actually make out Don't something that, yeah. like, rots away and have something gross inside. Rots so it, away! So, oh, like, boy. it's just, like... <laughs> You buy this thing, it's the, like sweet, and then it rots, and then it just leaves crap everywhere. The first person a month in, they're like, it fucking fell apart! And other people go, awesome! Yeah, yeah. In my head, it's like, you know that those sand sculptures you can make underwater, yeah, when yeah, you lift yeah. them out, they just go... Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. It'd be like that. Something like that. Sell them in a little box of water. You try and use it, it just goes... And that's yeah. it. It's just gone. Moomba. Some kind of some kind of <laughs> garbo, uh, oh. like like uh, flower pot that kills the flower. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh yeah, it's dead in six hours. It's sealed. There's no way to water it whatsoever. Gar <laughs> garbo alcohol, zero proof. <laughs> <laughs> you want some Garbo drink? It's just some rainwater and trash. Oh. <laughs> just rain sell it. Tell me about the way bag. Garbo says trash. Is sell right. it. fucking trash. <laughs> 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 My favorite like Garbo is when he's just run like, out of air and he's like on the dregs of his breath. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like it's painful. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, life is pain for Garbo, man. This has been discussed. Kill me. <laughs> The Garbo voices, it's what? What? Oh, it's the same one from last yeah, time. Yeah, you can even write a new one. Who's Mickey Boo? <laughs> they, they did that last week. That's how you spell uh, Mickey. Me, Mickey, Boo. Mickey. Yeah, that's like the I, mouse. I'll say idiot. this. Since, since Branded can't show it. Mickey Mouse. Take that. <laughs> Disney. Mickey is like. There's a Coke Isn't that a short. Like, <laughs> 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 so last week, yeah. uh, we talked about Chief and Honor. I'm like, wait, wait, there it is. And we saw it already. I haven't seen this one yet because it, episode four? in our world, it hasn't come out yet. In our world, it's like November, like, what's today? It's, it's, it's November. It's like the 11th. It's, no, it's not the 11th. What is today? It's the 16th. The 16th. The yeah. 11th. 16th. 16th. It in your mind. I'm only five days off. That's a lot. That's a lot of days it's off. Not a, it's, it's not a week. I'll tell you that Almost much. a week. It's, it's almost, almost a week, but it's not a week. Not a week. Uh, but, Chima Hunter, episode four, 
What's episode four? Came out this Long week. Longleaf Sawmill, Is it the son. Sawmill? I think it's the Sawmill. Jeremy said it, so it better be true. Uh, tell you this, if only episode, clip, only it. episode this even, even? Gavin and I are in. This even. What? It's the only one we're in together. Are you shitting me? Yeah. Why did they do that? Well, because your schedule and my baby. Right. That was it. Right. Yeah. Do we have a clip? I had to like, yes. I had, well, Jeremy boy, <laughs> we he replaced you. Cause he Did was you like, fart on him? No. No, he I just got that to him. Yeah, he right. doesn't fart it's on like me. He I farted. Michael, we're just the muscle I, I will antagonizer say, I'm, duo. I don't know if it made the episode, but in episode three, when you went in the closet, I did fart outside the closet. You did, and, and I you could like, hear Are it. you farting? And I, I like, could hear Michael farting from the other. And, and gigging <laughs> in the closet. But, uh. Mike, your anus. We should. Let's roll a clip from episode four. All right, so we're gonna go into the sawmill, guys, and we're gonna start looking for Dead Man Stokes or any of his victims. It's important with ghosts to try to engage them. They want to tell their story. They stayed in this plane for a reason. They should have moved on to the next life or afterlife or whatever the fuck it is, but they didn't. They stayed in this sawmill, so that must be because they're tied to this realm in some way, and we want to find out what that is. Maybe we can help them move on. Just watch where you're walking. It's dangerous as dicks in here. Knock, knock, motherfuckers! Today's headline, I'm glad you're fucking dead. I heard, uh, I heard you fancied yourself a bit of a tough guy. We got one of those too, his name's Jeremy. Yo. He's the guy with no hair. I bet you're too much of a sissy to attack Jeremy. Real talk, what do you think Jeremy's odds would be if he did fight a ghost? I give him 50-50. That's... He's tough. No, yeah. I think like he's got he, a low center of gravity. He might not too. beat it, but he'd probably wear him down. I think he could wear a, a ghost down. It would just get tired. Right after that, there's a real conjuring from Michael's ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny too. It's awesome. The best mic'd fart I've ever been a part of is when Dan was under a giant balloon on the trampoline. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> usually we just have our phones recording audio, but there wasn't really any need under the balloon, I was just booming him, but you still had your recorder running in your pocket. Yeah. And the weight of the balloon made him fart. But it's like the mic was inside of his anus. <laughs> I didn't put it in the video because I want to use it in an outtake, but the audio of his fart was the wettest thing. <laughs> oh! Because it, it was under a balloon and full of water. You know how, like, sound is underwater? It yeah. kind of sounded like that, it, like, reverberated around the balloon. It was like water underwater. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah it was God! Dude, the you moment... Went, like, like you tasted it. Yeah. Like, the moment in that episode it. where Michael farts, the ca he Michael knew that the fart was happening, so he pointed the camera at Gavin. So like Gavin's like doing the full ghost something, and he's like, "Oh yeah, like oh no, are we gonna hear something?" And just hear. <laughs> yeah. And Gavin goes, "There's anything that can more quickly take you out of the moment? I'd love to hear about it." <laughs> Gavin goes like, like this. I'm he goes, "I'm like." <laughs> Gavin's <laughs> filming. He goes. Like that, and Michael goes, was that you? Is it, is Michael it the goes, sort of thing you get thrown out of a cinema for? <laughs> it's a great episode. Maybe now. It's a good one. Yes. And also, yeah, maybe. Oh, be like, get is that emergency yeah, yeah. card? Yes. Yeah, That's maybe the classic. best prank of the season. Best prank of the season. I think. And one of the most, like, compelling pieces of evidence. Yeah, of, like, ghostiness. So yeah. And I'll say this, because I'm pretty sure it got cut out. I was totally got cut out. So, if, I mean, if it didn't, you know. That is this the other prank? Watch it. No, no, no. Oh. But um, there's a part where Jeff, Gavin, and I are in part of the sawmill, and we're waiting. We're like on a second floor. We're waiting, you know, trying to like be quiet and see if anything happens. We're like asking questions and mm -hmm. stuff. And they had given us a, uh, they'd given us like a bunch of sawdust, and they were like to throw on the ground. Yes, yeah, so and can see, see if there was like footsteps. any footsteps, yep. you know, from any sort of like apparition or anything. So we like, you know, layered the ground with it, and when we were leaving. That area, like, you know, we did a whole thing in there and we were leaving. I kind of lingered by myself a little bit, trying to antagonize the ghost a mm -hmm. little more as Gavin and Jeff went on ahead. And on my way out, after making a bunch of threats to the ghost, uh, <laughs> I just took my shoe and I wrote pussy in the sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> that did not make it and, in the episode. Yeah, I can and tell they were you like, that. cut that out. Now, and then, then I doubled down. I'm like, pussies. Dude, cut out my pussy. There's um, <laughs> what what totally sums up the entire episode too is you know we we have our little like intro at the location, so we do the yeah. clubhouse, we do the story time, and then there's like a okay, here we are in yeah. downtown Longleaf, <laughs> yeah, downtown. Where, like where Jeff does his whole thing, Louisiana. Yeah, and um, so right at the end of that, we go walking into the thing, and I'm like, 
dude, it's hot out here. And you're like, it is fucking warm. And I think Ryan calls it wet. Like, because all of us, it, like, we walked away, it was like, Ugh. dude, it was the most I've sweated. It was the most, like, like, I couldn't believe it. Like, disgusting like, I've Ugh. ever been in my life, getting back to the hotel. Like, yeah. like, after we're done shooting that night at the hotel, like, you know, sometimes you're like, Oh, like, is that, is that me? Like, oh, do I stink? And you're like, oh, I do. It was like, oh my God, I stink like shit. Like yeah. just, just standing there, like existing in my body <laughs> was like, oh, it was so we, gross. We all I smelled like awful. Damp, it was like, you've left clothes. That car like, ride back with all four of us in the car was like, oh. It was, uh, it's, it's bad when you, when you take off a vest and you can still see it. Yeah. That of the also, line of where that wearing. also. When we talked about this forever ago and off topic, it's, yeah. that was when I raided the fucking the snacks at the hotel. You got like the it ramen. Was, the, yeah, it was yeah. this ghost hunt. We got back at like three or four in the morning or something, and I just bought like yeah, I bought like microwavable pasta and ramen and a couple of Twix bars and Snickers bars. Pound of cheese. I didn't have cheese. I would, I would, have, <laughs> would have done it. And then <laughs> even like pound. even he got all the food and went up to the woman at whatever like four a.m. Went up to her and was like purchasing it, and she's like, "You sure you don't want a drink?" And Mike went, ah. "I went. Why'd you say that to me? Why'd you say that? That's it. Why would you do that?" And then yeah. went back and I got a water and I got like two Starbucks coffees. Yeah, yeah, and the f- a little frappuccino. Oh, and then yeah, as we're buying it, she was like, well, "Let me find you some uh, utensils." I'm like, "You know what? I didn't even think about that. Honestly, I'll just eat it with my hands." She was like, <laughs> "I'll get you." Yeah, she goes, "Don't do that." <laughs> Don't do yeah. that. And we smelled so bad. Like, Don't oh, it was awful. Yeah, it was gross. And I just stayed with Michael the whole time. I was like, yeah, I'm Jeremy had this. nothing to do there. Like, he could have just went through his room and he was just like, I'm just watching. I'm going to watch this happen. <laughs> I just stood there. Jerry bought like one thing and then just I got back. like a thing of, no, I got a thing of ramen and I got like a Jimmy Dean breakfast thing. Oh, those are amazing. They're so good. Like little breakfast bowl things. I was all about it. It was phenomenal. So uh, check out Haunter. Yeah, check I out. I always the forget sales. that's coming out until it's out. Well, that's because like it's just it's been a thing forever for months and months and months mm-hmm. for us, like most of the year. And now it's like, oh yeah, they're coming out. Yeah, I know. And, and this this is more than off, halfway through the season. Guard every time. We gotta be in more episodes together. Okay. Stop being so busy. Season two. Huh? So, so here's just, what you say. You say when is Michael on? I'll clear my schedule. Here's what we do. Block shoot him. Shut Let's up. Do all of them in like three weeks. So wait, you're in this one. You too. Are you in Hellfire? You're not? This is literally the last one. You're not? What do you mean? Well, because I wasn't in Hellfire, so... Did we announce Hellfire? Yeah. Yeah. I mentioned a bunch. We've mentioned, like, every one this season, pretty much. I mean, there's three more. Yeah, so that's true. So I don't know what you're you're asking. So, like, literally, this is the only one. That me and Gavin are in? Yeah. Yes. He said that. Yeah. That's bizarre to me. We were in the pilot. How many have you been in this season? Because it him must and be, I have it been, must him, be and I, him and I have been in the least three, uh, three, I think. Yeah, same here. I've been in like three or four, and they almost wow. all. Damn scheduling, man. Oh, you're not counting, Rita. Been I'm in none. one, and I'm happy that I'm not. Alfredo's never been in one, but we're gonna get him in. We'll get you. You, you. It's, it's, he's two. I mean, we haven't really right? filmed. You'd have to attention. fucking trank me. We'll do it. We'll oh, trank your ass. We'll fucking knock you out. Alfredo, if we said fly with us to this place and and be in this ghost hunting show, you'd say no. What about this? There's a fucking ghost, man. What, yeah, you're just, just ghost. You got Jeremy. Stick with him. He'll right. beat him up. We'll team up. That'll not work. That'll work that because you'll be work. the scariest one there to finally lure him I'd out. I'd love to Jeremy see. And I'll be like, "What's up, motherfuckers? This is Alfredo. Bring it." It'll like, come for me. I'd love to see the ghost fuck you up and then go report me. <laughs> <laughs> That'll happen. I'd be like, I'd love that. Nah, man. So the know, ultimate cost. I'm fucking with some shit. Jeff's in all of them. Jeff's in everyone. Ryan's almost in all of them. Jeff. Brady, lads. Oh yeah, man, I'm, I'm all. I will, I, called it. I will nope so hard. You heard it. We got no, 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 Jeff and no, no. lads. No. Come on. No, we were like, all right, Brady. What That's do you as think? Good as good as it can be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, uh, he's always just the dust. <laughs> you gotta, stop. Stop. We gotta tie him up and we'll, like carry him in. We'll do it. Brady, you. All right. They've they've been trying to find like nicknames for everybody on the show. Like you're like the instigator and like the muscle, the bait. bait. Uh, <laughs> and like Daniel was talking to me about everybody. He's like, oh, you know, what could like the other people that aren't in the show be like? You know, because Trevor hasn't been in an episode, but he'll be in season two. Yeah. And, like, and hopefully, so Alfredo, Alfredo, Alfredo will be, be in season and, two. And like 
Um, he's like talking like Alfred would be the be? escapist, and I was like, <laughs> he was like talking to me about Trevor, and he's like, what would Trevor be like? What would Trevor's name be? And we were like the discussing, square. Di- we're like discussing different things. I think I said something similar, and uh, <laughs> we're like discussing things, and I was like, what about Alfredo? Have you thought about that? And Daniel goes, oh, bait two. <laughs> bait two. Bait two or the nope. The nope. Yeah. <laughs> Just bruh, nah. <laughs> nah. Hey, hey post show? Yeah. Post show time. Uh, thanks for watching. Post show, Bunny Man. Hope we have an ending. If we don't, oh well, we tried. <laughs> I, I, you thanks know, for watching. I'm just a man. We're only human. This better not be socks or someone's getting fired. It's not you, though. You click the link. This is store.roosteeth.com. <laughs> <laughs>